Hey guys, the first five episodes of Rot Grind will be on the Zorn the Bear channel. But remember, after the five episodes, the rest of the episodes will be on the new Narrative Declaration channel. So if you enjoyed the series, please subscribe over to that new channel where all the tips of RPG stuff is going. All right, everybody, are you ready for the first episode of Rod Kron? Rod Hi, everyone, we're back. After the characters are getting coffee. <laughs> yeah, they're getting coffee right now. Don't worry, don't there worry are no about characters. it. characters. It's a postmodern you're, you're RPG. You're keeping the fire. You're keeping the fire lit for them. Well, welcome back, everybody. It's taken us like months, forever. A lot of things have happened. I'm so glad to see everyone back, and I'm so glad to see our amazing players back. You can't, you can't see all their stuff right now. That's on purpose. That's on purpose. So don't, don't freak out. Don't freak out. But I'm gonna kind of go down uh, my list here and introduce the amazing people who have stuck with us. Uh, the amazing crew. Uh, from the formerly crew known as Warhams, we have now rebranded ourselves to be Narrative Declaration as the group. And this is our new campaign, our new Dark Souls kind of Elden Ring spot inspired, inspired, remember that word, inspired campaign called Rock Grind, written by Thurston Hillman. So the first player that we're going to have on the raw, Aaron Dill, tell them who you are and where can they find you? Hi, I am Erndil. I am a writer for uh, Alpha Busa on the newly renamed, we did a lot of renaming recently, on the project called Ogre Popenang. That's the cool group that we're a part of. We were previously the people in charge of TTS, and uh, I write for them and do a whole bunch of other shit. You may have seen Hunter the Parenting. Wahoo. Good. Uh, you can see me at Twitter at Erndilio, and that's about it, really. But yeah, that's that's me. All right, next that we have on the list is Hokey Crow. That would be me. I am a voice actor that did some work formerly for TTS. Did some funny bits here and there for a couple other content creators, but mostly for Warhams in the past. This has been very fun. I'm very happy to be back. <laughs> Are we doing plugs for where you can find me? Because you can pretty much only find me at Twitter right now. Same username at Hokey Crow. Missed you all, but I'm very excited for what's to come. And next that we have Odoroshi. Hi, hello. I'm Odoroshi. Uh, I am a sewer goblin that's been dug up to be a part of the cast here. Um, step up, can, step up. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Odoroshi Writer, uh, in which I mostly just post uh, various Yu Gi Oh memes. Yeah. And. Uh, you will probably see me around on a couple of future projects for Alfred Busa. And, uh, yeah, that's me. You did the logo for Hunter the Parenting. I did do the logo yeah, for Hunter yeah. the Parenting. I do graphic design sometimes. And next up, we have Speaker D. How are you doing, buddy? Hi, it's another day in paradise. I am Speaker D. I am uh, also one of the uh, lead writers for Alfred Busa's various ogre opening projects, including... Hunter the Parenting, where I also voice the eponymous Big D, and uh, I'm very excited for us all to be back. And our illustrious Game Master, Thurston Hillman, who will be torturing us today. How you doing, man? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting in the Dark Souls spirit. Everybody has to have an ominous laugh, right? He, he's uh, over hi. there. See the skull. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Thurston Hillman, uh, you can find me on all the things at On Call GM, including the Twitches, where I've been doing like Dark Souls playthroughs to get in the spirit for this. Uh, I'm uh, not as involved with the Alfred Buses stuff as, as my, my companions are at this time, but I am a developer for uh, Paizo, and I work on Pathfinder and Starfinder, and then I was also the GM for Warhams. Woo! And now I'm going to GM for Narrow Declaration, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's me. Woo woo. Awesome, and I am your host, Zoan the Bear. Uh, 
this has been a long time in production and i'm so so happy <laughs> that we finally get this in here and go through this uh we have actually a lot of neat stuff for the overlay uh just so you are aware um that you can't see the characters right now this is just for people who are just kind of coming in um and you will not be able to see them just yet we'll introduce them and show them off as a go but they have a special bar thing um in the system that we're playing right now to kind of run the entire thing is pathfinder second edition so if you've ever been curious about that system this is that is the one that we've chose to kind of facilitate our stories here today um one of the major mechanics of the pathfinder second edition is hero points hero points basically allow you to reroll a d20 and sometimes they can help you sometimes you go oh yeah i got rolled a 13 and now you rerolled it and maybe you get like an 18 or something and it'll work great um sometimes you can reroll it and you'll get a natural one it can either help us a lot or severely ruin us because critical failures are an actual mechanic that happens in the game and uh, for anyone curious of the virtual tabletop that we're using we're using foundry virtual tabletop we found that it works fantastic for um you know, it's fantastic for Pathfinder Second Edition. It makes it really easy to play. A lot of the features in it are amazing. And so that's what we're going to be using it on. Um, so, yeah, if you've ever wanted to uh, check us out and everything else and also see what Rock Grind is all about, one of the fantastic things we do as well is that we can actually provide you the content of the stuff that we're working on. Um, you can go to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. And you can find the primer. It's free. It's absolutely free for everyone to download uh, the hop in. Just get an idea of what rock grind is. So feel free to head over to our Patreon and so do that. Or do exclamation point Patreon in chat. So with that, Thurston, yes. I think that's all Whoa. the spills I got going on. Are you ready? Um, you mentioned the the narrative declarations that we're doing. Yeah. Okay, right. we're good on thank that you. front. Yeah, yeah right. here we right. go. I didn't mention that. So as we get hero points, thank you for reminding me, as we get hero points, um, we you get a total of three of them in this game. If, if we spend two, we do, basically our namesake now, a narrative declaration. And that's the thing that we did with the previous campaign we did with Warhams, because in Wrath and Glory, a narrative declaration was a thing that we did when we spent a resource. We really liked that mechanic so much to where we basically made it our name now. And we had to spend two hero points to do a narrative declaration. So we felt that was a good enough resource to kind of go in there. And a lot of shenanigans can still happen. So we're super, super excited for that. Is there anything else I potentially missed? No, I, I, I think I think we're, we're good on that front. Yeah. Awesome. And yeah. yeah. And stay tuned to any future posts for how things are running, how things are distributing, everything else. So with that, Thurston, I think you can go ahead and give people a spiel oh. of the venture. Oh, welcome, welcome to the realm of boxed text. No, um, but again, seriously, before I get started, just thanks to everybody. This support is utterly fucking amazing and you're great. And yeah, we're going to jump in and get into this thing. So let us get going with the Rot Grind campaign. Welcome to the world of Tyne and the Rot Grind campaign. The year is 300 PR, or post-rot, in keeping with the first recorded case of the rot, as recorded by the University of Amazet. For the past 300 years, the rot, a mysterious illness, has infected time. This sickness overtakes both body and mind, and some scholars blame it for a growing state of apathy that has taken root in many of Tyne's nations. Our tale begins on the continent of Perdoma a land mostly comprised of the fractious nations and city-states informally known as the Inheritor Lands. These are the survivors of the collapse of the Empire of the First House, following its former leader's ascension to divinity. These nations still cling to the false hope that they can reclaim the Empire's former mandate and restore the glory that once was. To the north of the Inheritor Lands is a frozen tundra ruled over by undead nobility who resisted the Empire of the First House and still cling to their holdings. These lands are now known as the Mornracked Expanse, and only the desperate or foolish travel there, which means I'm sure this campaign is going to go there. Let's not kid ourselves. Uh, elsewhere along Perdoma's western coast is a jet of swamplands known simply as the Solitude. 
This place is named not only for its desolate nature, but for its notorious difficulty to access as a result of an ancient divine punishment. At the heart of the solitude is Outset, the so-called city of a million faces, and the place where our story begins. Outset is one of Tyne's largest settlements. It is the world's oldest settlement and is vertically developed. 20 stories of compacted buildings make up its base, while some of Outset's districts rise up almost 120 stories in, ha- in height. Outset is a maze of buildings, concourses, and plazas. The city is roughly divided into nine great pilaster districts. Each of these districts are built around magical, ever-expanding pillars, with new construction constantly attempting to keep up with the pilasters as they rise. Powerful guilds operate in Outset, and their power is felt from the highest spire to the lowest levels. Leaders of the most powerful of these guilds maintain seats on Outset's ruling body, the Assembly. To have any political power in Outset requires having your guild be recognized, and only the Assembly can provide such recognition. Some democratically elected citizens with no guild affiliation fill the Assembly's seats, though speculation of their corruption is common gossip. Our tale, however does not begin with the glittering spires of the assembly, or even close to it. Our tale appropriately begins in the lowest level of the pawn's pilaster. It is one of the districts that doesn't even have a pilaster, as the eponymous pawn's pilaster long ago fell into the earth and left only a depthless sinkhole in its wake. And much like how the pillar of this district was long forgotten, so are many souls who have been condemned to imprisonment by the corrupt law enforcers of the Tyrant Skill. The destinies of six heroes begin in a cramped prison in Outset's lowest levels. Erndil, my friend, would you please describe what your character looks like and about your character? The fellow who I will be piloting this campaign is a rather average-looking man from all accounts. He is about six foot, he's of average athletic build, and he is generally got decent posture, but he slouches when he is not particularly interested in how people look at him, which is quite often, I would like to point out. He has, most vexingly of all, a large metal can, can be charitably described as a paint bucket, with a metal slit carved into it where his eyes would be. He wears this so as to preclude being summarily shot in the head while wearing it via arrow or pistol bullet, ideally. He wears a long, ragged coat of decent make. He keeps it in good condition. And he has bandoliers upon bandoliers of alchemical reagents and goods for either immediate use, emergency use, or recreational use. And he wears, for armor, a simple breastplate to cover his chest. Again, because those are the two most important parts, is your head and your chest. Because that's where all your organs are that matter. The rest you could probably afford to lose, at least one of them. Excellent. We find Baldric has... It, well, Baldric is in this prison complex and is going through a process. Um, At this point, he has been brought to a desk where, uh, unlike many of the other prisoners here, uh, the guards have not confiscated Baldrick's various sundry alchemical items. Uh, Instead, what we have behind the desk is a a large half-orc with a shattered uh, tusk on his left side of his face, bedecked in plated armor that displays the, the sort of skull-based iconography of the the local law enforcement, the Tyrant's Guild. This this guard looks up at you, and Baldrick, you're no stranger to prison. Uh, You've had some altercations with the government in the past, so as you you look into this guard's face, you recognize this this half-orc guard as Hulmul. And Hulmul looks at you with sort of a, a shake of his head, Baldrick Weathers. Looks like you're going back in. What was it for this time? Uh, same trumped up charges as always, you know. Do I really have to spell it out for you? You've got the papers. Well, it looks like you... Well, they say you blew up an orphanage. Mm-hmm. Is that is that true? Did... 
I need to ask Look. you something, Homo. How many times have you seen me through here, and how many orphanages have they said I've blown up? What? I've never thought about it that way. That would mean there'd have to be a lot of orphanages here. Yes. Huh. So, I haven't, but, you know, that doesn't really matter, now does it? Well, maybe. That's okay, though. Uh, we're not taking your stuff, because we know you're probably just going to take the option of fighting your way out of here again. Is that safe to assume? Oh, yeah, very easily. I mean, All right. I'll probably well, we... in a couple days. Oh, easier than that. I think we got the pit fights all ready to go for you. All right, take Mr. Weathers to his cell. And the, the, the like, shadow guards emerge from behind you and walk you only only a few feet away, maybe 15 feet to the to a side cell with the door open. It has a fairly, like, fairly spacious appearance to it, um, though it has, I would say, a, a set of fairly ominous background as well. Um, you can see that <laughs> light is seeping in through a, a barred cell. There are hanging chains in the corner of the room, and in fact, a shattered skull in the corner. Uh, there is a section of the chamber that is entirely uh, covered in darkness, but you are led in, and as you you take your as you you take your step in, you Baldric, uh, you can tell that the next person in line for processing has been brought up, uh, and the next person to be brought before Homo Hulky Crow. Would you describe your character to the masses? So the character that I will be playing or portraying for this campaign is a very large wooden boy. He is a towering figure, an amalgamation of both rotted and growing wood vines and dilapidated metal. He stands upon two digitigrade legs, ending in odd semi-mechanical feet. His shoulders, almost two bulwarks of, well, wood and vine, enclosing a very large and what would be very aptly described as barrel chest, within which a churning orb of raw star stuff, always changing, shifting, like the universe itself staring back, nestled within a cradle of vines, keeping it tucked away from both prying eyes and those who would do it harm. His head is almost skull-like for as often as you could see a skull and what you could describe a skull as, crowned with a metal flange not unlike that of royalty of ancient times, but all the more overgrown, tarnished with the stains of time, leaves coming out in a fine plumage, almost avian in nature. His left arm, mostly mechanical, held together by that same wood that makes up the rest of his body as well as vines, and as a counterpoint, his right arm, really more wood than metal, almost living, growing and shrinking as he desires. In the center of that skull-like head set a viridian green lens, at the center of that, a lambent yellow ring, acting as a rudimentary pupil. Right. Um, Hulmul, like, looks at you. Um. Um. The papers here say you're a Rahua, is that right? Yes, that is correct. My name is Rahua. Right, um, I typically have to denote the ancestry of our inmates, um, should I write three? Well, that wouldn't be entirely incorrect, uh, I'm All right, sure. tree. Uh, I what were you here for, us. tree man? Well, I was just standing about, and there was a quite nice little animal that I was chasing around, and... Well, apparently, people don't like it when you chase them through their stores and break their very expensive dishwares, home goods, people. People are surprisingly fragile, do you know that? No. Oh. Well, I didn't know that, but now I know, and it is a very useful fact. 
Needless to say that I owe them a lot of money, and I did not have that money, so now I am here. Right. Uh, have you been in, in a prison before? No. Sir? All right, first timer. All right, so how this works is you get two options. You can, by the right of the assembly, you can legally challenge it within the judicium in the king's palastia. Uh, current wait times are about, for a case like this, three to four years, during which you would be uh, imprisoned within one of the tyrant's guild cells or exported, so to speak, to the Baron's Palastia, where you would have to survive on your own until the date of your trial. Now, the alternative option here, which uh, our current uh, feather in there and the other group have already agreed to, is to engage in a bout against some of the Tyrant Guild aspirants to help train them. Uh, we give you a little bit of a rough and tumble tussle with them, and then you can get out of the split. You'll take a little bit of a beating, and that's all right, then we get you out. How's that sound? Oh, violence is great. I want to do that. Right, okay, put him with Baldrick. The, the, the two guards come up behind you, like, and then we have to set the scene. These guards are, like, two feet shorter than you, sort of, like, escorting you towards the cell which the, the grating on the cell is just low enough that you'd have to like lower your head under uh, and who as you do Ooh. this you can see uh baldrick weathers is inside the cell he is, Hi, he, baldrick. is he is inspecting the manacles and he's gonna complain to the guard do assholes not oil these like last time i swear to god they're gonna squeak every time i try to lay down here oh uh, do, do you have some oil in there? One of the guards says. Walter's going to tilt his head. I'm not going to do your job for you. This crap's expensive. Yeah, well, then it's going to squeak. They close the door and putting putting Rahua and uh, Baldrick together. Jackass. So, Hi, Baldrick. It, yeah, that's, that's me. Um, you, uh... You, you're a tree. Well, more aptly, I'm a Kunrasu, but many people find it simpler to call me a tree, because it's not entirely incorrect. Kunrasu's fine. I Thank think. you, I appreciate that. Yeah, so, get comfy, because so uh, we got a few more people coming in, probably. I have to ask, do they put Rahua in, in shackles? Were they oh, no, none to? of you are shackled, they just put you oh. in a cell. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah Baldrick's no, no, just no. looking at the manacles hanging from the ceiling. Exactly. Finding something to complain about. So this is where they put people who can't pay for things. And all um, I have to do is either wait or I have to kill things to get out. Uh, not necessarily not being able to pay a fine, but, you know, same same general gist, I guess. He must have done something to piss him off. I broke some plates. That's it? I mean, I kind of destroyed a shop, but... It was their own fault. It was in the way of a small animal. No, you're a vandal. Okay, simple enough. Uh, so with with that, we we cut back to Hummel, and we hear some kind of commotion, um, something beyond the the view of our of our camera. And Hummel looks up from his desk, looking to the hallway beyond where the these prisoners are being processed through. Um, and before before we see our next character. We we hear her voice. Um, Odoroshi, what is Vali saying to the guards who are bringing her in for uh, to be processed? No, 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 big guy. The hat stays. The hat and the flask stay. What did, what am I gonna do with it, huh? And and emerging is is our next character to be processed by by Hulmul. Uh Let us uh, introduce Odo's character. Odo, will you describe your character to everybody? Yes, of course. Uh, so the character kind of marching into the scene, kind of stumbling half, um, almost half drunkenly into frame, is this uh, relatively mid height woman with this. Startling blue skin, uh, kind of like this sky blue color, and this ostentatious deep blue coat with this big feather collar that wraps around her neck and shoulders. Uh, on her hat, a matching blue uh, 
on her head a matching blue hat with a tuft of feathers kind of extending like a good foot behind her, these long, long, long pointed ears and these swirling cloud-like patterns that come up her arm. She kind of staggers in, looks over to the, the half-orc and kind of... You tell him that the hat and the flask stay, right? Um, well, have, you, have you been in a, prison here before? Reach onto her hip and pull out the flask and unscrew it. Have I? This shithole? <laughs> no, not, not particularly. Right. Well, well, there's two ways you can go about it. Um, the first is you can try to legally argue your case, which will take approximately three to five years for your case to be heard, uh, during which time you'll be contained in a prison cell of the Tyrant Skills operation, perhaps even uh, taken to the Baron's Plastia, where you will be hunted until such time as your case emerges, or uh, you can engage in some of the arena fighting uh, to train up our new aspirants. It's a one bout, you get a bit roughed up by some, some aspirants, and then we let you go. Three Which would five. you prefer? Three to five years. Fuck that, buddy. Takes a long swig. Yeah, I'll poke some holes in your aspirants. I mean, are uh, they ready for me? He, like, looks up and down at you. Uh, do you fight with a hat? No! I don't fight with the... A rapier? If you oh. please, are you well, are you we've, providing we've got, things? We've got your equipment. Uh, it's all in storage, minus the the mat and the flask there. Um, Thank you. You can keep kindly. the hat and the flask while you go in the cell. Take take this one to the cell, and like the, the two guards like start to like push you along. And there wherever. better not be any fingerprints on it. As shakes his head, writing things down. Oh wait, 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 wait! What was your uh, ancestry again? I've got a sea elf here. Is that right? No. Oh. I'm a sylph, dummy. Sylph, sylph. Oh, you want to? Oh, one of them. Free as the sky. Old powers. Gotcha. All right, let's enter in. Don't um, call and, me old. And then Volley, you are you are led into the cell where both Rahua and Baldric are are um, milling about, and the cell opens, and you are admitted in. Stumbles inside and just kind of takes another drink. Hi. Hello. Hello, uh, I am Rahua. So uh, they sent me in here with the bucket head and a tree. Excuse me. It's a helmet. And Baldrick. I mean, it is a helmet, but it is definitely a bucket. Baldrick, nice to meet you. Name's Volley. Yeah. Maybe don't call hand me bucket head unless you want me to call you feathers. Oh, feathers is fun. But fine. Baldrick it is. He, he shakes her hand a little warily, and then you see his his helmet kind of recoil back a little bit. Oh, I think your breath's like pure ethanol. Hang on, hold tight. He, eh? he begins fumbling around his equipment, and he brings out a really quick little uh, a, a, a fire starter for a moment, and he scrapes it a little bit. I want to test something. Uh, don't set me on fire! This is expensive! As you can see, it's got, like, stains on it. Her big feathery coat. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see that. Well, I take it you're in here for public drunkenness? Piracy, actually, if you'd believe it. You know, high sky piracy. Stealing from the rich, giving to the poor. You tend to get arrested for that stuff nowadays. And yet you're in here drunkenly stumbling about like a vagrant. Listen, the amount of rum that I have just consumed within the last 24 hours is between me and Father Storm. Alright, well, if you're gonna puke, puke in the corner, and if you need something to stop you from getting, you know, jaundiced, I think I could help with that. Oh, I like you already! I'm gonna shake his hand, and then I'm gonna turn to Rahua. So, you're a tree? Well, actually, I am a Konrasu, but you can call me a tree if you would like. Why um, are you so adorable? <laughs> <laughs> Rahu will cock his head to the side. Gonna, is is Rahu, like, sitting down? No, he's just towering over you right uh. now. <laughs> I can imagine Valley grabbing Rahu going, I want a plushie! 
<laughs> also, this is the only time in history that someone gets away with starting a sentence with, well, actually, and then the response is, you're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Even we, we towering are... above, Volley, like, craning her neck back really far, just reaches up and, like, gently holds either side of your face. You are adorable. How do, how do they make a tree cute? Anyway, what'd you say your name was? I am Rahua. At Rahua. least that is what I am known as. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Vali. It is a pleasure to meet you too, and Rahua will extend his right arm down, shrink it just a little bit to not crush your dainty little hand. I'm gonna shake it. Oh, how wonderful. And, and as you anyway. you you, you uh, like you shake the, uh, the the tree that is Rahua's hand, um, there is the sound of footsteps. Uh, but it is not another um, another member of, of our intrepid band. No, in fact, um, walking in is a is a one of the lone guards who goes up to Halmel, scratching at the side of his head. Oh, sir. Have you ever considered the political uh, faculties that bind us to this place and uh, the socio-economic positions that we're in as gods? Oh, fuck me. Word. <laughs> Halmo looks like, turns his head, the, 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 the shattered jaw. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, think I have an idea who the next one is. All right. If it's who I think, just, just, just send him in now. Let's get this over with. Um, Speaker D, my friend, would you like to describe your character as they enter in on the scene? The doors open deafeningly. Multiple guards flank this individual, and though many are taller than this man known as Tannhauser. They seem small in comparison with just the purpose and driven magnitude in which they strive. Beneath a black cloak lies drab attire that seems fit almost for a military uniform, though it matches no known fatigues of this world. And deeper still from that is machinery. These surely must be gauntlets, yet they move with the fluidity of flesh, and on the face with two piercing green eyes is a mask, a respirator, trailing to further into his chest, leading to a place that his cloak and clothes obfuscate. He moves forward with a scarred face and abject purpose. Right. Um... State your name for the records. Holmesley, you've gained weight. State your name for the records, sir, no, please. I'd rather us have a conversation. It's been so long. I'm excited. You're still dumb enough to let me in. <laughs> you and your tyrant's guilt. Oh, you should have killed me a long time ago. You know right. my name, Holmesley. Write it in your book. Uh, Mr. Tannhauser is... It's pronounced Hauser, actually. Uh, oh, Tannhauser. Right, Thank right, you. right, right. Um, uh, ancestry. Ask your mother. <laughs> oh, for Christ. <laughs> well, Fuck off. That's, that's rude. <laughs> um... Oh, will you be seeking the legal way out, or will you be wanting to fight in the arena this time? I figured that I would take advantage of my imprisonment to kill some police officers. Now, if you don't mind... Aspiring me. police officers, please. Oh, my apologies. Now, if you don't mind leading me to your university of crime, I would very much like to get myself acclimated with the seeds of revolution. Looks to the guards around you. Yeah, take him to the cell with Baldrick and the tree and the captain. And the, 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 the like, coterie of guards, secret service, like, pushes you in. Uh, where you come just as, like, Vali and Rahua have finished shaking hands. 
yes, take me to the what the tree. And, and then you in. walk into the cell where you see the immense Rahua. Hello, I am Rahua. Hi there. Oh, they what were, the fuck is your problem? They weren't lying about the tree. Oh. He is a tree. Kanrasu. I'll enter into the um, cell, which I assume is getting slightly cramped at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Baldrick's not standing in the middle. He's like slumped off to the side now and hands in his pockets. I'll uh, walk on in, take a seat cross-legged on the floor and just crack my knuckles as I do. The fingers go back to such an extent to where it seems like they break before they just come back into place. That's a cool trick. Do it again. Oh, thanks. I'll do it again. Cool. Watch this one. And he does it to the other one. Pretty cool, right? That is very cool. Thank you. So, let's talk about revolution. Oh, Oh, boy. word, comrade. Lay it on me. I'm going to take another long drink. Uh, and... Wait a second. But he's about to... You could tell he's about to get into it. You could tell he's about to go on a tirade that would require a scene transition. And then yeah, he, uh, he right. notices. <laughs> he notices <laughs> Baldrick before the scene transition. <laughs> I appreciate the throwing the ball before we talk about workers' rights. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as, as, like, as, as oh, you're just on. about he to go into... To, oh, he, he wanted to talk to Baldrick, I think, was the thing, right? He wanted suggest- to make mention to Baldrick. I know you. Do you? I do. How did well, you wind up here? Oh no, are uh, they exes? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you after you have your workers' rights statement, okay? Well, it's really more about destruction than construction. Oh boy. Destruction is a natural part of life. Uh, we got a we, uh, we got a problem. Um, four in that cell, six in the other. We're gonna have to move one. Uh, yeah, take 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 the bird boy. Yeah, move the bird boy over. And like we, the, the camera cuts to the cell that is opposite the one where our band of heroes has been uh, placed into as the guards turn and open up another cell where we see like the nondescript shadows of of four individuals and then like one really like plucky fellow who's in who's in kind of like a, a dirty set of leathers has a loot at his side has like a chronicle book in one hand like the the camera lights like goes on to this this plucky boy who looks up smiles at all of you and like just says oh wow at like looking at Vali and Rahu and Baldrick contenders like you're all really interesting people. I, 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 I think you've got all store, all sorts of stories. And then the guards open the cell door, push this little boy aside, and go, go to another figure who's standing in the shadows. They begin to escort out Zorin the bear. Will you please describe the character who is being taken out of the cell and moved in to the cell with our other heroes? What they see is a fairly young-looking fellow with bird feet and large wings on his back. He's wearing a sort of like robe poncho or poncho like thing. He, his right arm seems to been seems to look missing until he kind of brings it forward and is replaced by a wooden limb. And as he kind of uses that as a walking stick to come over to all of you, you'll kind of see a scarf as he tries to scoop it up, and it seems to be a patchwork scarf with various symbols and things on it. And, and I assume the guards are like trying to rough him up a little bit, like, oh, I'll get in there. Yeah, they're, they're, they aren't being gentle with, with, with moving you. However, like, they're also struggling more to like help you get your wings under the, the, the entrance, which is clearly not built for it. Come on, man. Just, just. Just lay off it, man. I got my wings in front. You already clipped them anyway. I don't need you to like, mess with me like that. Just, no, stop that. And I assume I get shoved in and go like, oh, hey. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, look up to see all the others. Oh, hey, crap. it's a Why proper we... party in here. Why What's are we up? sharing a shell with a kid? It's like, I look, mean... look, I'm no kid. Like, I've, I've got across a couple moons. A couple moons? What? Uh, yeah. Like, really, 
Like not like nineteen of it. Look, look, I, I am I've gone through 19. so many moons for it to be legally acceptable to murder me in a tabletop RPG session. Wait, nineteen days or nineteen years? Uh, like moon like the, the, the winter cycles. He's he's saying he's, he's nineteen. 19. You're nineteen. Yeah. Oh, thank God. But don't worry, he's really good, the voice of the chipper boy who has now gone to the, the bars of the other cell looking over. He's 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 like a really good person. And and I was just, just writing down his story, but but seeing all of you, I wanna write your stories too. Oh, oh you're writing stories, gross. are you? Bali yeah, is going could... to breeze up to the bars. Could you right, my name's him Jimothy. For like the rest I'm of his Jimothy life? the Bard. Jimothy the Bard. Nice to meet you, Jimothy. He uh, smiles, c c cutting back to to or uh, Oren. He's like, yeah. Could you like, you know, listen? Let him listen to all your stories for the rest of his life, because I'm done. You're done. You've already told him all yours. Yeah, he's. Look, he stares into your eyeballs as he does it. It's really creepy. Does he blink? No. Oh. Uh, hey, Oren, was it? Yeah. Uh, Baldrick is going to lean off the wall at this point and just kind of saunter over. Uh, can I roll an alchemy to see if he's high? Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, I I've been waiting lot. for this fucking roll. Yeah, here <laughs> we go. First th first roll of the campaign. Can I see if he's high? Absolutely. Make a weed check. Well, yeah. What would you like me to do for that, Thurston? Because alchemy um, is not a skill. I will allow you to do a perception check, but because you are an alchemist, I will give you a... You know what? In this case, I assume you've had a lot of dealings with, with this particular type of class. I'll give you a plus two circumstance bonus on that, Baldrick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, hold on. I believe so, in you. Let me just give myself a plus two. Mm -hmm. And the dice rolls. Eh, oh, not, not impressive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the 20 oh, no. was there, and then it just went to the 4. Okay, so a 10 total. Um, there are some chemicals. You're not sure. Like, like you, you smell some, some strange things by this bird, but it might be bird smells. You're not quite sure. Oh, I'm not exactly about to, to, to ask him, hey, do you smell like a bird? Yeah, exactly. Is this like bird smell? I don't know if this is normal. Uh, well, between the captain's drunk fumes and whatever crap's coming out of him, as he jerks a thumb over to Tannhauser, uh, I guess you're off the hook. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Don't just don't spill anything on the ground. Look, look, I'm not into drugs or anything, man. Really? No, I hate that stuff. So you just sound like this. Yeah. Is there a problem with that? Respect. Is there something not. is there something wrong with me? I guess listen, not. Listen, dude. Being straight edge is a hard road to walk. I respect annoying bird boy. He's I'd been like here for a minute. Well, listen, we're setting the groundwork for a much larger organization. We are but the vanguard. And as I was saying, once you've gathered the power of the underclasses... All right, all all right, right keep it down keep it in there. Group one, you're going in now. Uh, you see, like, some guards enter in, and they, they, they walk down with keys to the cells, and then they stop in front of yours but turn and open the cell with, with Jimothy and the, the nondescript four people behind who get, like, carted out, and we see the, I don't know, it's the Final Fantasy Warriors of Light who get, like, pulled out first. You know, we have, like, fighter, white mage, black mage, and thief who all, like, make their way out, followed last by Jimothy, who takes a pause in the, the walkway, uh, like, quickly pushing himself up against the bars to your cell. All right. Uh, when we all get out of here, uh, I'm gonna chronicle all of your 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 findings. We're gonna we're gonna adventure together, and and I'm, I'm gonna tell all of your stories. Okay, come on, come on, in the garden. Kids, oh boy, you better do I learn have some stories? Duck. You better learn to duck. I've got some stories for you, buddy. I don't know. Let's about you, not tell him stories. But I'm really invested in that man's safety. Yeah, uh, sure. It's really hard to tell if you're ever sarcastic. What is sarcasm? We to don't a have time for this. 
Look, Word. For, look, just everyone hold tight for a second, okay? Look. Okay. He holds onto his staff. Look. Rahua from the back of the cell pipes up. I also would like to know what sarcasm is. Some of you are aware of who I am. I am an alchemist of some renown. You know, ill renown. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, infamous. infamous. Excuse me. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, so, you know that, presumably, about me. I need to know what the hell I'm getting into with you guys before we stumble into that pit and get our asses beat. So, uh, Rahua, why don't you go first? Well, what would you like to know? He's just holding one of the shackles chains in his hands from the wall. I... Can you do anything else? Well... I can hit people very, very hard. Okay, and I can look cool at them tricks? funny. You got any cool tricks? Like, can you, like... I don't know, can you throw fire at people? I could throw fire at people. One at a time. Can you do magic? I'm not familiar with the concept of what magic you may be referring to, although I can look at people very funny, and they tend to not respond well to it. All right. Sometimes they tell hitting. me I'm ugly. Just stick to hitting people for now. Okay. Uh, Molly, please tell me that you have, like, a gun or something. A sword, thank you very much. Why the best no rapier duelist this side of that set. Why does no one take a gun? Why... How many pirates do I know that don't use a gun? I mean, seriously. Because, I mean, where's the fun in just shooting them from a distance? You don't get killed. Yeah, but where's the glory? Oh. I think there's plenty of glory in a well-executed cannonade barrage. But they are very expensive, so I understand. That okay. is also a factor, but we keep that one on the DL. Okay. And how about you, Tannhauser? fellow seems to know me. Do you have any sort of combat? I would assume you do, and you're not just some kind of weird mechanical philosopher. I specialize in disrupting the unjustified hierarchy between tyrants' heads and tyrants' bodies. In short, I am a spell sword. Okay, that's actually quite useful. We're gonna, we're gonna, you're, you're gonna probably be doing a lion's share of the damage at the moment. We're gonna need that. Uh, can you do anything else? Well, I suppose not, unless you consider rousing academical treaties and uh, uh, calls for revolution. And uh, I, uh, uh, my hobby is fishing. Uh, I do not. So we'll move on to the bird. Oren, Oren. Hi. You said you yeah. could throw fireballs. What what do you do yeah. again? Oh, I could summon lightning. Okay. Um, Aldrich kind of looks up at the ceiling. Oh, uh, I can do it in here, too. Lightning doesn't okay, give a well, fuck. Okay, well, don't do that right now. I mean, I can do uh, it right now. I can just bust no, us out of here if we want. I, no. I'm, here for my, I'm here for my friend Ryan, though. He's, like, somewhere in here. Well, then, as though as though to to punctuate the statement, a blood curdling scream is heard from outside the window. Oh, my well, what's here winning? for Ryan? Uh oh, sorry about that. Well, that could be a good scream. We don't know yet. I don't know if there is good screaming going on in there. Oh, by the gods, kill me, make it. Ah! This is this is not going well. Get well soon. I don't think he'll get well ever. Probably not. Pour one out for our fallen brothers. I, uh, I unscrew my flask and pour out a little. Yeah, I'll pour out like a little bit of... Like, hey, 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 alcohol's fluid. a good reagent. Give me that. <laughs> oh, Baldrick will dive with an empty flask to catch whatever she's pouring out. <laughs> <laughs> you have any idea how expensive alcohol is? Don't do that. Oh, this is not expensive stuff. I know, it, that's, the, that's, that's the good part. It's mostly ethanol. Hey, all of you. What? Hello. You see Hummel as like two two other guards have come in. Looks like the first group's done. You're up. Uh -huh. Oh. All right. Well, 
Watch, learn, and cheer, boys. And and so the guards come. They 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 open the cell and escort you out. Where they they take you through a, a winding maze of tight tunnels, and passages. Uh, the sounds of of like shouts, jeers, screams uh, seem to, to echo along the walls here. And you're you're brought in a line to to a larger chamber that has all of your equipment that has been perfectly racked on the walls, except for Baldrix, who obviously they just let Baldrix keep his, his equipment. Um, what are you so, gonna do? Stop me from making bombs? I, I mean, you know, right? Like, it could be. Um, and so you were all brought uh, to like, to, to the front of a, a iron portcullis that is exceptionally wide. You can tell it's the, the entrance to some larger uh, theater of combat. Uh, you guessing that it's probably about 15 feet wide. Um but actually, probably more like more like twenty feet wide, uh, allowing each of you, like four of you, to walk out side by side, and then one to trail from behind as it sort of rises up. Um, who who is going to be in the who is going to be in the back row? Who is not going to be in the lead group as you walk into the to the area? You corral. Uh, <laughs> uh, guess Baldrick will take the back. Okay. Yeah, he, right, he's, he's I'll, I'll watch. I'll watch you. Yeah, you got it. Yep. Okay. That's Absolutely. that's the plan. Baldur's right. gonna learn how to throw black glass bottles. <laughs> um. So you find yourselves emerging into a particularly vast arena. Um, it's about you'd say a hundred feet wide, maybe half as half as long. Um, with sturdy stone pillars, the sides of which are spiked, and they have a, a diameter of easily 10 feet with, with spikes all around. And then further up ahead in the center of this arena are four metal uh, posts. Th thicker pillars of, of or sorry, wood, I should say. Thicker wooden posts that go up to a walkway above. Probably about 20 feet above this, this arena, they allow spectators to stand and watch. Uh, and so as you, you are emerging from this portcullis that is raised, you start hearing the, the cheers and jeers and general commotion, and you walk out into a well-lit area, though you are still inside a building, because much of Outset is just inside bigger buildings. Um, there are magical light sources that shine like miniature suns in the, in the sky here, uh, or the ceiling of the area, illuminating the various folks who are standing on top of the walkway looking down. Um, as you walk out, though, you immediately see what is opposite the arena from. There are three creatures that appear to be moving around the corpses of five others. Uh, the most prominent of the corpses is Jimothy, whose body has been, like, eaten and sawn by these these terrible crocodilian creatures his hand reached out and so going back to my intro text it's actually the destiny of five adventurers not six adventurers <laughs> jimothy needs to learn not to split the fucking party um and introducing he, player who will not be in this campaign campaign so jimothy <laughs> he's gone. So. um and instead you see these creatures in front of you and they they sort of look up from their meal now sensing that there is yet more food on the horizon horizon and so i will share this uh lovely piece of art with everybody Whoa. and then i will switch our map over uh is homo nearby Boom. uh no no homo has stayed back in the cells you've just been led in by guards essentially um and as I... as these creatures look up at you you just hear the oh 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 as they we look require and vision shout with your mouths. Um, you do require vision. Why is the vision not on this map? It because we are well, blind. Well, as you're figuring out vision, yeah, 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 say, yeah. hey guys, so I'm new here. Where are we going? Uh, here. And excuse me for a second. I'm just going to turn to the guards that have just mm -hmm. dumped them in here. If they're still around. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, where the hell are the aspirants? Oh. Yeah, not today. 
You do no. realize that I was playing nice, right? We are going to have to have a word about this later. Um, um, I'm sorry. Uh, very sorry. God damn it! That's the entire reason I made this trip! Ooh, I'm angry now. Take out hey. your frustrations on the crotch. Don't just... This is no longer a fun show. Now we need to not die. There we go. Now we have vision. <laughs> All right. Go get these All innocent right. animals. Yeah. So these these bodies are being like eaten by these multi-mouthed crocodilian creatures. I am going to get all of you to click on your respective tokens and set yourselves into combat mode. Oh boy! Whoa, combat. Oh boy! Here we go! Here we go! Uh, since Start none of you combat. really like had the opportunity of stealthing in here, I think this is just all going to be perception for initiative. So if I can get you all to roll perception checks, let's go. Aaron got a 16. Heck yeah. Oh, oh. I rolled. I didn't see wow. 20. Natural one. Nice. Yeah, mine was bad. I like oh, I it. I thought I did. Oh, it caught the I die. like oh, it. Thurston, who did this of... map? Oh, yeah. So this cool map was done by uh, one to tell stories who did this nice map. And along with this map and some of the, the assets, like the stats of these creatures, we're going to have a PDF or we're going to have all these files accessible on our Patreon uh, shortly after this episode. Yeah. So you're going to get all this cool content. Yeah. 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 But things. first off. Oh, good. Nope. Keep going. Okay, I was going to say, but first off, uh, Vali, uh, you walk out, the portcullis slams behind you, clang, um, like like the, the hand of Jimothy flops to the ground as the, the lead of these crocodilian creatures looks up at you. Uh, you get to go first, Vali. What would you like to do? And for our audience, before before you go, um, what I want to explain just really quick about the system we're using, um, you may be used to, like, move, attack. Um, Pathfinder 2nd Edition is based on a three-action economy. So, essentially, if it's a verb, it's an action. So, like, you can move, move, attack, or move, attack, move, or cast a spell that takes two actions and move. So a lot of how the combat will move will be a bit different than maybe what you've seen with like D&D &D or other games, but we're going to dive right into it. Uh, but just so you know, three actions is the, the name of the game here. Alrighty. Uh, as, oh. as this is starting up, Baldrick <laughs> is just going to shout to, to Volley. Uh, time for aim to please has ceased. Now is shoot to kill. So don't, don't screw around. You got it, big boss. Uh, and I'm going to uh, move my 30 feet, and then I'm going to, I believe I can tumble through that first gator up there. Um, yeah, as your second action? Yes. Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. And she does okay. a flip. She does a flip. I do a backflip every day of my life. You do All a right, flip. Let me go ahead. No. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to roll acrobatics in order to yes, tumble you. through to get a bit of panache. 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 Ooh, that is a 19. Because you are a swashbuckler. Yes, indeed. A buckler of swash. So just so, so Chad is aware, uh, the, the tumble through is a way that she can get this cool thing called panache that makes her be all like badass. Uh, tumbling through is, is one action. You basically move at your speed, but you can try to go through an enemy's square. Uh, and in this case, the, the DC that you had to beat was a uh, 15. So you are good. You you rush forward, then do a, do a roll through through this creature. I assume you want to end up on the other side of it, correct? Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, feel yeah. free to position yeah. yourself. Oh, uh, now you have panache. All right. Uh, and I'm going to whack this crocodile with a finisher. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Steve. All right. Let go. <gasps> you hit. All right. It so hits. that is going to be hit. So you a roll the damage. On yes, indeed. Hey. Uh, <laughs> oh, that, was a, that was a bunch of bad Not rolls great. there. Um, <laughs> so you cool. get behind it and do this fine, fine, like, fine thrust with your rapier, but the creature is sort of sinuously turning to face you as you've tumbled through it, so you only manage to, to score a, like, a, a, a <laughs> strong shot, but still very grazing along its back. All right. On guard, little Zilla. I said shout to Cal. I am! Uh, 
Um, also, uh, Zoran, I want to quickly say, I'm sorry for breaking it up a little bit. No, it's okay. Maybe lower Odo just a little bit on your end. A little bit? Okay. Oh, shit. So I'm like a close. little loud. It's okay. I got you. Got it. Okay. Do your best. Um, okay. So. okay. And remember when you're done your turn just to click the next turn button. Yes, indeed. Otherwise, I'm going to do it for you, and then you're going to be like, no, I still have I a wasn't done. action. All right. Yeah. No, it's my uh, turn. Oren, you've seen, you've seen Volley dash up, like, roll behind the this this, this creature and stab it. Uh, as this is happening, the crowd up on sort of the, the, the upper levels, uh, the 20 feet up on the wooden plank above are, like, cheering. In fact, you see, like, an old man with his young child who is safely out of the range of child kidnapping, like, cheering down at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, Oren's gonna go, like, don't worry, I'll try to get that other one near you. And he's gonna quickly pat, 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 pat right over. And mm -hmm. he's gonna target, uh, the crotal, the crotal head that's kind of right down here south of Volley. And he is going to cast Tempest Surge. Ooh, okay. Basically Ooh. what that does, you basically, everyone sees a swirling storm of air and storm and lightning just go pretty much near the crotal head. And basically what that thing needs to do is make me a reflex save and it needs to pass 17 or else it'll suffer uh, 1d12 electricity damage. And on a failure, cool. it'll be clumsy too and take persistent electricity damage. All right, I will correct you. It is a crotodile, sir. Oh, we, are, we are copyright yeah, friendly. Other, yeah, yeah. <laughs> other thing, other thing. Yeah, 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 right. And yeah, I got yeah, it because I, I need am to a change druid. systems. Yep. <laughs> and I, because I am a druid, and for people wondering, I am a Strix. That's why I have wings and bird feet. He's a boy. Yeah. Boy. For some reason, it's not letting me to do the reflex save there. So just do it off the cheek here. Whoop shot. Ha ha! No. Ooh, that will right. fail within the fails, weapons. and he so will that take. Damage. Come on, big roll, big roll, big roll! Ooh, Dice, big ten. Body. Yeah. Let's I got go. ten, and you can drag that persistent damage on him. Um, is there persist? Oh yeah, yeah, it takes persistent. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, um, so really the cool thing, chat. Yeah, just so you're you're seeing, I click damage and it applies the damage. You'll see the hit points. Eat a little cool thing there. Uh, and then um, on a failure, I am clumsy too. I can drag that over onto it, and then I can also drag the persistent to it. Persistent damage is damage that applies at the end of every one of its turns, and it can kind of take a chance to get it, like get. That, that persistency off. Uh, clumsy will apply a condition to any of its dexterity-based checks, including its armor class, you know, reflex save, so it's really good. Uh, so this, yeah, there's the crackling, like, bolt of electricity smashes into it past the, uh, past the wooden pillar, and you hear this just like, um, as it, like, recoils from that. Um, yeah. Oh, also, I need to rename you, because for some reason it had your old name there. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that oh, will be that. the end of my turn. Okay. Cronk of dial. Cronk of dial. Get cronk. Get cronked. Okay, perfect. Uh, so the the clumsified uh, crocodilian creature that has yet to be identified will go. Um, it will. Okay, it's going to to try to to move towards you. So it is going to one, two, three. Four. It's going to not reach it with its first movement, so it's going to take its second movement. It's rushing towards you, having seen you strike it with this electrical energy. It gets up right beside you and tries to bite you with its jaws. Uh, or Bring it on! Come, comes towards you, the electricity still crackling on it. Um, nope. It fails terribly uh, with it, um, rolling rolling like a 10 which does not strike you and then at the end of its round here's another cool thing about foundry it's gonna auto roll uh it does remove the um it does remove the persistent electricity damage at the end of its turn so that is now gone from it. um but it's like sizzles as the electricity arcing over its scales pop briefly and then uh, that brings us to the next one, the, the previous one that Volley had struck, which is now turning its ire towards Volley. And Volley, you see that this thing is turned, having taken the back strike, and it sort of, like, raises its head back and attempts to bite you. Nope. Um, critically Whoa. missing with a natural one on its first attack. It is enraged by this and so rather than attempting to bite you again it starts like smashing its tail towards you no 
bad, uh, bad baby boy. Critically missing again with a um, with a seven. Um, after all of those things, it um, it slinks a bit away, <laughs> like like retreating backwards towards the pillar, just like out of frustration and moving, just like oh, tries to bite you, tries to tail, and then wriggles away. Um, and that is the end of. That uh, crocodilian creature that's not identified as Go. Uh, Rahua, our friend, you are now up. What would you like to do as you've seen your two allies rush into combat? The cheers of the combatants, two of these things are weakened. What are you going to do, my friend? So Rahua, being new to arena fighting and Mm -hmm. most combat in general, seeing his two compatriots run up to combat, will start charging up towards the crocodile that is Fled Volley. Just do the do the funny okay. move. I'll have to spend two actions to start moving. From a slow walk to a gradual sprint as he starts barreling towards this wounded demo dial. His left and right arm will start to re- shift as the plant matter shunts from his upper arms to his lower, the metal reconstituting into a makeshift shield and a rather brutal looking pick on his other hand going to pick me. Pick me apart. Of course I am. And Rahua is, as he's running towards this crocodile, the lens, which is his eye for all intents and purposes, shifts from that green to a very stark orange and just slams down on this pitiful creature with his pick. No. If I... There we go. Here we go. No. You can do it. No. No. Get his ass. Big number. Yeah. Shall beat, him, him. beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Ah! Um, you hit, now do the damage. I will do the damage. Here it comes. Yeah, right. El DiMaggio. Oh, it's wow. not very good. <laughs> oh, not very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Everyone loves the number four. Four. Yeah. Four. Okay, four I got it. You strike at it sideways with the pick. So it's like, it's like, volleys come up behind the stab this thing in the back, then it's tried to bite her, rushed away, and then it turns just like to see this, this hulking tree man come and smash into it with the, the side of a pick, heavily wounding it. It looks really messed up and bloody now from this. You can see that like there are various other mouths on it that start opening along its sides, as it looks like very almost sickened and annoyed uh, at you. Okay. Um, that oh. is... That is that little duders go. Uh, that will bring us, yeah, over to Ten Hausa. Take it good. I'm seeing that uh, the revolution goes well thus far. Oh, goodness <laughs> sake. <laughs> um, the, the copyright gator oppression. That's right, but I can't help but notice that we have one gator virtually untouched. So Correct. what I think Tenhauser is going to do is yeah. I'm going to activate my arcane conflicts. I will channel the words of my umbral affinity and begin shimmering in and out through the aether as mana flows freely through me. Um, bob, 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 bob. And within this uh, increased power, I will now be gaining uh, five feet to my movement speed, which is going to see me uh-huh. run to over here. Okay. And then for my third action, I'm going to cast my focus spell. Uh, dimensional assault, mm. whereupon I am just going to continue my rush through space time, take an additional move, and get to the other side. Uh, I, see, I have to go through space time, but uh, yeah, there you go. And just appear yeah. on the other end behind this um, crotodile. Pirate, let's test our metal. Um, and that will allow me to make a melee attack on this. Uh, okay. Absolute Cro- crocodile. To explain why or how you're doing all this stuff, you are a magus, right? I am a magus, and this is my arcane conflux. Yes, um, this is your f- dimensional assault. Is your focus spell? You conflux up to get the extra speed, move up, and then move. Ga- and well, conflux move and then hop. That's right. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so let's go. Uh, am I? Do I get any bonuses for being behind the cro- crocodile? Uh, so it is going to be flat-footed, so if I press the F key when I have the token selected, I've now given it flat-footed. Yep, because you are flanking it. Base! All right. Let's mosey. I do still miss by four, unfortunately. Now. But I do. But chat has given you the power. 
Yeah, That's you right. do have one hero point, thanks to chat. Mm -hmm. mm. And I think I will use chat's generosity in this moment to <laughs> find. I will use chat's generosity to roll a one. And yes. <laughs> oh no! It oh, could no. happen. Oh no! It could happen. Behold! It it no. No. No, he will hit. He will hit. <laughs> one. One. The people's hero point. Ah, That's the right. people! I hit him with the people's elbow. The people's hero quest. <laughs> the people's rapier. I'm All right. Bump. Okay. And that's four, four damage, but it's not factored in, but I get plus one from our king combos. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll apply. Oh, sure. wait. I actually might get more. I think I get more against flat-footed targets. Uh, yeah, you actually do. I think it's a uh, plus... Plus... Because you are the laughing shadow. Yes. Yeah, so I am plus three, so that's actually seven damage. Yeah, that's Ooh. not bad at all. Yeah. So just a... Uh, Pierce forward through the back of the hide, bringing my sword back to bear. And now, yeah, and I are looking really cool fighting the crocodile. Cool. 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 Hey, sword buddies. Well, I think you were done, correct? Sorry. Ah, uh, so yeah, that's all my actions. Okay, so the the cro the crotodilian turns to you now, um, and uh, is very unhappy with what you have have, have wrought upon it, Tanhouse. And with a, a sudden, it attempts to bite at you with its jaws. That's just its opinion. Oh, it will hit you. Oh, oh And we'll do damn. 11 points of damage <sighs> as, its opin as its opinion bites into your thigh with like a, a terrible crunching sound. Um, it's, uh, yeah, got that. Uh, and then it is... It is, you know what? It's it's got you. Um, I think it's it struck you. It's going to grab you, um, basically on the leg, uh, which will cause some mobility movements, perhaps slowing you down. So you are currently grabbed uh, by it, uh, which will impart the immobilized, flat-footed grabbed conditions uh, <laughs> as it's like bitten onto you but also it's then going to with its third and final action uh it's going to swing its tail at poor volley in an attempt to um to get her to back off perhaps oh. uh it will take a penalty which it will miss on so the the, the tail goes like widely like, like flailing about and that's the end of its go Baldric, hmm. my friend, you are up next. You've now seen your allies have engaged these, done fair fair amount of damage to each of them. The crowd is definitely cheering here. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, first free action. It's going to call up to the crowd. You're all sick people. And then he is going to <laughs> think about what to do. Five gold on that one. <laughs> What's the uh, guy I rolled to, like roll to prepare an alchemist fire and throw it at the crowd. No. Absolutely. I mean, what? <laughs> it's just um, like first me. session. We're already doing war crimes. No, war I'm crime. neutral good. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. uh, let me just war check something time. real quick just to make sure I've got this correct. Yes, yes I do. Okay. Oh, the Can cat has I... entered the arena. Hold on. I'm, I'm looking at something. Oh, it's okay. I have a cat that hopped on my desk. She's saying hi to all of you. <gasps> hi, hi, kitty! kitty. No. It's a kitty. kitty. It's a big old kitty. Oh, big, big. oh no. It's a big kitty. Okay. All right, Baldur, so, what are we doing? I'm, in, I'm not in range to help with that crot in the back. I was okay. kind of hoping it would get a little closer forward, so the most I can do... Yeah, I can't even remotely hit that. Or, I mean, I could, but it'd be hard. You get a minus two penalty is... for one range, right? That, actually, yeah. you also have far lobber, don't you? Uh, yeah. No. Oh no, that's right. You don't have it this level. Not at this that level. Next. So what I will do yes. is I will move to that blood stain next to the yes. grate. Yep. And you'll just you'll just hear the sound of clanking and clattering as he is busily selecting alchemical reagents and cobbling them together into. Uh, let's make it worse on this thing. Uh, I'm okay. gonna cobble together a pesh pine grenade, since you Ooh, still have okay. not given me the nail bomb. Yes, absolutely. The the uh, proto nail bomb that you are developing. Yes, I'm going to do that with the effort of hopefully weakening this thing a bit. Now, I'm not gonna okay. be able to kill it with no matter what I get, but I'll I'll do this. Let me craft that quick. Just he yep. gets together a little jar and loads a whole bunch of needles and like an explosive charge into it. Yeah. He shakes it up, and he is going to hurl it at that crot. So that'll be a okay. minus two. Yep. 
So, uh, that would be strict plus five at a circumstance of minus two. Yeah. You can do it, Bodger, I believe. He I shakes it up two. and throws. Ooh. Nope. Just just barely. Now, now, the the good thing about Not your weapons to. is even if you miss, you you still um get to do your splash damage. What did you want to say, Zorn? No, it says, I believe in you, and then you miss, and he was like, well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. I, I assume what happens is the grenade, like, hits the, the wooden uh, support pillar in the way the crowd, like, cheering as it does so, and it sort of, like, spatters off beside it. Now, you're a bomber. You cannot do splash damage to your allies, uh, which is good, yep. but uh, you so will still do um, you will still do damage to the, uh, the crowd. It's one. one. It's not yep. a lot. No, but hey, every bit helps. Uh, so do I need... To, so I roll damage for this thing, correct? Even though I don't hit it? No, no, no. Because you... Okay. So it's, it's just this... Pesh Pines oh, also right. have a secondary uh, effect to them. I okay. don't know if it's from the AoE, though. I don't know if it's direct hit or AoE. Um, let me double check the item that you have. Because I believe... Uh, on a hit. Yeah, it's on, on, a, on a direct hit, hit so, so no. Yeah. So, okay, well, it takes one damage. Yeah, so it's it's got these little like needles sticking out. And it's like shaking around. Um, that will bring us then to Vali. Alrighty, uh, I am already up on this guy's ass and flanking him. So, in order to get some panache, I'm going to uh, kick off of this pillar here and just do some sort of ostentatious, big, stupid backflip and hype up the crowd. Absolutely. Uh. We'll see if I fall on my face. Yeah. Which, uh, which, which, which style? I do not. Oh, nice. Which style did you have again? Uh, my your... style is... Oh, it's fencing. Were you fencing? Oh, okay. Yes. Nice. Fencing. Okay, cool. On guard. Yeah, that's just, it's good because you can also use your deception as well as acrobatics for these kind of chests as well. Yes, I could, but I'm hyping up the crowd. That's fair. That's, that's <laughs> fair. Uh, you will succeed. You will regain your panache as you hop off the, the wooden pillar. The sort of like people can't quite see you underneath them. So like there's like heads that are peering over the edge, awkwardly looking down. All right. Well, they better look at this. Uh, and I'm going to uh, whack that man. With a finisher? With a finisher, yeah. Oh, yeah, do it up. <laughs> Whoa. Does do it. We will hit. Uh, and damage this the time finisher. the finisher damage won't be yeah, it is. better. It's better. <laughs> you're, you're, My right. damage has been poo -poo. I want to point out that during our play tests, like Odo just would murder everything in one yeah. hit. So this is so different. I uh, know. Fine. I'm trying to fish for my crits. <laughs> but it's enough for you to stab it uh, through the back of the head, uh, killing it, which will also remove the various penalties that are currently to your ally as with a single like blah, the the crotodile passes on. Right, but that was just your second action you've still got that was just my left. second action yeah. uh with my third action i'm gonna go ahead and tumble through over here oh yeah absolutely fish for a bit more panache panache hey. get that panache for next turn heck yeah hey i got an idea for you you can roll forwards and back, and forwards and back, so you can do and a flank and, and a forwards and, and back. one foot forward. That's genius. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a seventeen on the acrobatics. Get your panache. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, in fact, most of the panache comes from whatever the fuck Oren was telling me there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Listen to uh, my meta gaming. God damn it. True. I'm gonna tumble no. through, do a big uh, somersault, and just like keep hyping up the crowd, pointing at Rahua. I appreciate your meta gaming. His, for the love of God, <laughs> position yourself to flank with Rahua. Uh, oh yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> forward and back and forward, and back, right there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, uh, Volley, is that you? The end of your go? Yes, indeed. All right, pass the baton to oh, Oren, yes. who will go. Yes, indeed. I, I will eventually get used there. to hitting the end turn button. I'm gonna try to do my best to revive everyone I speak. Oh, <laughs> right. uh, uh, Or end the bear. Like, Oren basically slaps his hands together and go, Crack it so a bitch! Pow! And then basically electric arc <laughs> fucking goes between both of the crotalids. They both need to make me a reflex save. 
I love this voice oh, so much. Okay, uh, sure. Let's uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, yeah, for some reason, that one's not. So I'm just gonna have to. It's fine. Yeah, don't ever click that button. It just doesn't work. Then why you gotta make it, man? Regardless, I you take the half know. damage, and they're both gonna take. Oh, that's right. Four. They were gonna say to make four a damage. Yeah. Four damage. Four damage. Four damage. Four damage. Four. But you know what? I didn't four. move. You know what that means? I would hit it with Stop my stick. Action. Yeah, hit it with your stick. I would, I would have my staff, and I would look at that crowlet. And because I already took a hostile action, I take a multi-attack penalty because all three of my actions I could have hit him three times my stick. So now I'm gonna call a whoppa with a minus five and fucking miss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crack it up. This is Tyler Radica. Crack it up, man. Got it. All right. Go ahead and get the bites on. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Um, Do sure. people regret this voice yet? I might. <laughs> I, 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 I am restoring this I, man. I love, it. I, I love doing this it. Don't worry. This is great. I, yeah, this, okay. is, this, is, this is another running for my favorite Zorin characters. This, uh, this, this, like, thing is, like, after being electrocuted, just like goes in a flurry of blows on you, attempting to hit you with its jaws, missing, Whoa. attempting to swipe at you with its Get tail, out, missing. Oh. It's crit oh. fishing at this Cut point, this. gonna go again. Ah. Uh oh, <laughs> bam! The tail, the tail hits you at the end of that, uh, Not smacking Cobra. you across the chest for six points of damage. I'm just playing. <laughs> Zoran, Zoran. <laughs> Uh, uh, Calm uh, down. Uh, uh. <laughs> just, just for that, I hope that the, that it just sweeps you off your leg like the Lupin the Third coming through the car animation. <laughs> so, so with that, there is like there is a you 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 have this happen to you, Oren. You also then hear from the crowd a chanting, "Bear, bear, 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 bear," and you hear bear what? I have no bear, bear in my name. And the portcullis on the western side begins to. Oh shit! And emerging, it was the fourth wall. <laughs> emerging from behind the wall is an immense bear. Oh god! Uh, the fuck though, on. <laughs> though oh, damn it. it's not, um, it's not quite a normal bear because as this sop, like sopping wet furred creature emerges, you can see that its chest cavity is ripped open with tiny teeth along the edges of it and it like moves forward with this like and as it like approaches closer and closer exiting the portcullis um you can tell that it has just the most foul foul stench and uh luckily only um only our dear friend tanhauser is going to be in range of this awful awful stench but like even just the the faintest whispers catch on the air as the, the crowd has been shouting bear, 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 but the bear simply emerges on its turn. Um, I like the note. I still hate the name. The dank bear? It's a <laughs> fine, I, executive it's a fine decision. Name. I still hate it. We all love it, right, chat? <laughs> dank, the dankest bear. He ignores bear. my he pleas Zorin, to not name it, it like that. Attack you first. Yep. He ignores my pleas to not name it that. He goes, yeah, okay, Zoran, and then he puts it in anyway. Zorin, There's if you keep this up, the bear will attack you first. Oh, mm -hmm. I know it will. That's my, that's my plan. <laughs> oh, good. Um, so, Vali, you've come up behind uh, Rahua flanking with this thing. This thing is is quite uh, quite annoyed. And in fact, we'll take advantage of something in um, Pathfinder 2nd Edition in that most things in this game do not necessarily have tax of opportunity. So it very quickly starts, like, Skittering around behind you, Valley. it just slithers like it's a like, snake. Like moves, like like shifting back and forth sideways until it comes behind you, uh, and then attacks you with its jaws, attempting to bite onto you. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, missing terribly. Also, I had Orin targeted too, but that that doesn't matter. Uh, and then, in a final fit of rage, it attempts to slap at you. Also missing narrowly, uh, yeah, narrowly, but but just missing. Um, oh, as it's bad dog! Flipping wide, uh, Rahua, you are up, my friend. What would you like to do? Uh, seeing friend. that Volley very handily took care of the other crocodemon. Yes, I'm going to keep our bird friend alive and okay. just just gonna move down. Just do a little moving. Okay. Oh, you're like Volley's got this. K okay, bye. <laughs> you do a little move. <laughs> 
I think she has this. Hey, yeah. Rua, our friend up there still seems to be in trouble. Oh. That's too bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, oh, no. oh, what a shame. Oh, what no. a rotten way to die. <laughs> Betrayed by the people I've known for five minutes. <laughs> First death. Oh, First boy. death. First death. <laughs> no. This is not no, no. I don't like Tannhauser. <laughs> oh no, uh, your pick will miss my, my poor hulk friend. Uh, what would you like shame. to do now? Unless you want to swing I like, again. I would like mm -hmm. to attack again. Minus yes, five. Absolutely. Here we go. Get his there ass. Go. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. go. Oh, you did it. You did it. it Here like, it comes. Spoiler alert. It's probably going to die. Oh, <laughs> you're <the> one. <laughs> Thing. It's still you enough. Got it. You still it's managed enough. to brain it. As we gently caress <laughs> our foes to death in this first session. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> just sees this poor creature just bloodied and fucked up and he just... Okay. Just drops it right <laughs> down okay. through his head. Just spikes him. Very good. <laughs> Pulls yeah, out you're not supposed to pet him that hard. We were supposed to be petting them? You need to be more efficient with this. We are, we are in deep crap. Um, bro, is that your your turn? Please click yeah, that's turn. my turn. Tanhauser. Now, Tanhauser, my friend. Um, I think I think this might work. I'm gonna try something here. Oh dear, it's dangerous. Um, that's always the I bad think, news. Yeah, I know. I think, can I? You know. Uh, but what I can do is I can get you to make me a uh, fortitude save, please, as you are now in the aura. Of the dank bear's stench. I am in the aura of this dank bear's dreadful stench. Radioactive based Stanky. on the, the aura that I have here. All right, <laughs> let's let's roll some four. Oh, I just fortitude. I just gave myself master fortitude by accident. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, oh, yeah, you right click just, it. Just, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you right click to make it go back down. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that's a twelve. A 12. That's that's okay. gonna pass, right? No, it's not. Uh, it will impart the second one condition. Um, now, you also, however... Uh, oh, no, no, no. It's just on a face. You're thing. just sick. I have a thing. Like, yes. Thurston. Hold on. Yes. I'm going to get my wallet. Okay. Why am I okay, wallet I have, paying I have, him? I have, I have a little something for you. You're just going to... Okay. We're going to forget about that, and that's a success, right? So, uh, second one condition. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> um, so basically, you'll just take a status penalty on all your checks and DCs, uh, and you can't willingly ingest elixirs and potions while sick. sick it. But you can spend an action to retch in an attempt to recover, which allows you to make another four. That sounds so great. I'm yeah, you to puke. Pathfinder Yucky. second edition has the retch action. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I don't. So here's the problem with that. How's he gonna retch with that thing on his face? Uh, I assume that like he can temporarily take the Bane mask off in a way that the audience and you never see. Yeah, it's like the Lucha thing. <laughs> you can't see me without the respirator. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, do you dare to retch? No, I'm not gonna right. retch. I, I hate what this. are you gonna do? Well, my plan was I got it. I'm gonna get healed, so I'll take my turn. I'll use an AOE attack to get the two crocodiles. And we'll all be here to kill the bear. That didn't happen. Because I didn't psychically <laughs> transit my tactics. You. So now I kind of got to make a de all death or glory charge on this fucking bear. Maybe don't do, do that. that. Do it. Maybe do don't. it. I implore yeah. you to reconsider. Yes. This is what we need do in my life. Do what your character feels he can do. Yeah. Like it was, he was part of a revolution and he's a hero. That's right. Right. The bear is the oppressor. Tannhauser. <laughs> Tannhauser. Uh, this is not Tiananmen. Slave crowd stand from past. Let's make this the final battle. <laughs> All right, so four man party That's then. A four right? man party. Yeah. Oh, he's going to die. Isn't he? <laughs> These destinies are dropping like flies. Fuck. <laughs> I was gonna tangle foot the damn thing. We like, nah, nah, we don't need any of that. <laughs> we we should probably it. help him. Um. So um, you gotta love this. I'm going okay, to. I, I'm so. I'm going to summon the power. Idea. Um, okay. Yeah, and I'm going to show everyone what the actual mechanic of Magus is. As I bring my rapier up, I bring it to the side, and I make a pointed attack for this thing's horrible, disgusting, fetid throat. 
Okay. I'm gonna channel a spell strike. Do it up. Do my it, man. Man. my man. Get my man. My man. My man. That's a 19 hit. Uh, well, a 19 will hit. Okay, yes. and I should have well. targeted him, so that's my mistake. So first up, it's fine. Uh, damage. Just gonna be Terrific. two damage from the rapier. Kay. That's not why okay. it's there. It's not why it's there. I'll <laughs> apply the two damage. Though. I am going to then channel my whoa, 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 only whoa, whoa. level one spell, shocking okay. Ooh, grasp. Very good. Absolutely. Uh, as from my mm -hmm. hand is going to rise forth my various motors and actuators, and out will come a great electric burst Bzzzt. straight from inside me. This electronic. Mm, there it is. Me. For 18 <laughs> yeah. damage. Woo! So 20 wow. damage total. Sheesh. It's just, 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 uh, my hand pile your like electricity moves. arcs. Yeah, yeah, like it moves back like a pile bunker. <laughs> just this huge blast that deafens through the arena. Um, and uh, you are also. Oh, you're not made of metal and you're not wearing metal armor, so you're not going to take resistant nope. damage. And that's the turn. Is it no. wet, though? It's, it's wet, but that doesn't do it. It's dankness just just keeps it angry. Status As it like wet. stares at you, looking down like. Comrades, to me! Uh, well, you pass it to the dead crocodile, who doesn't get a turn, so that's cool. Baldrick, you're up now. You've seen Tannhauser rush towards this bear. Tannhauser looking already pretty beaten up, but the bear takes this immense electrical strike and is like now <sighs> looking down at your ally. What are you going to do? I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out what I can even use to help because, unfortunately, uh, uh, this is this is rough. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll still I'll use a Tanglefoot anyway because that'll make it harder for it to try and attack him later, mm -hmm. if I'm successful. So, Baldrick, seeing this is gonna again rattle around his his components. He's gonna step up to there. Yep. Does this put me in range of the thing? Uh, I mean, you'll be in... The aura, the aura. Oh, uh, no, that'll be just outside this tank. The aura of this tank. He gets, like, a paper bag, and he fills it with all kinds of strange alchemical crap. Mm -hmm. And then is going to prepare and throw a Tanglefoot bag as soon as I produce that in my inventory. Yeah. So as you're like like scrawling madly to, to produce yourself a tangle for bag, which you you create on the fly because alchemists can do this kind of craziness, and then you ha you produce this alchemical weapon and toss it at the bag. This airmail. Oh, I needed to add a minus two to that, but that's still, still fine. Hit. Yeah. Um. So it is a minus ten foot speed penalty. Uh, so it is, you can tell it's now, like, slowed down by that as the tangle flip, like, smashes onto it and, like, gets all caught up in its legs and its mouth cavity chest that it has. Mm. I'm hoping that, ideally, uh, what what was this thing's initiative again? Um, it's, you know, Vali, Orin, then Bear. Okay, so, well... Annoying, because I don't, I don't, I don't have a whole lot that can really help with this, and I'm not going to be able to do enough damage to kill this thing. That's why I wanted you to run the red. No. You wanted to do the ranged combat against it, I see. Well, it's either that or get up close with a foul thing that will maul you to death. Yeah. Look at you bringing tactics into this. Yeah, um, I know. I was I foolish of I, me. I have tactics. Body. I never met her. I have faith in my companion. Alrighty. Well, I am right. starting my turn with Panache, so I am going to get some extra movement. Yep. Uh, I believe that the bigger threat is right there. <laughs> right bear. Right bear, yeah. Right bear. Uh, I don't believe I can get to any flanking position. No. So, your girl is just going to move, move over here. Wee. Uh, and Whee. then I'm going to hit this man with a finisher. Um, and will the flat-footed uh, automatically go through? Um, what is it flat-footed from? Oh, uh, oh, wait, no. What is the... Uh... Tangle. Oh, it's the status effect is from the tangle foot. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I am... it's, 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 got a, it's got a speed penalty. I have soup yes. in my head. Your, what your soup is fine. Uh, yeah, the potato. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to... 
I am going to hit him. Take. Woo! Barely does hit. Hits though. All right. No now, crit fishing today. This damage will be better than your previous showings. We'll see. Stop jinxing it, Thurston. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. It's psychological <laughs> warfare. <laughs> there we go. There we That's go. Better. <laughs> Thirteen. The bear is like incredibly fucked up by this. I'm going to reach over to Tannhauser and like give him a high five behind my back. Thank you. Hi. Thanks. I Cool. I high five her very ungracefully. Also, you got uh, it, Tanny. Volley, can you give me a fortitude save? Oh, damn it. Oh, you all the yuckies. <laughs> I had a bit where I was going to be like, if you forgot, I was going to be like, well, uh, Thurston, um, I, I, I could, can I get a hero point if I uh, um, help you out a little bit? And then if you're like, what wow. are you going to help me out with? Uh, and it's like, I'm like, okay. If you said no, I'm like, oh, that sucks. And just forget about the fortitude save. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, 14. You are sickened as well. Oh, that's a smell. Why are you really you? close it to Jenny? it? Wait, so I think the situation should be, it's like she shows up, it's like heroically saves Tan House. It's like, how are you doing, Tanny? And it's just like, oh, comrade, thank you. And then she's like, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out Tan House is like, oh, bear, man, was it something I said? Why are you all getting close to the bear? Because I I can't I can't hit it if I'm all the way over there. You have to get Bally's closer at the end of your go. to mess him up. <laughs> that is in fact the end of my go. Because yeah, I, I move moved, so I cannot unfortunately do anything else. Oh, ran the bird. All right. So I totally. So I'm gonna explain to you what I'm trying to do. I want okay. to go here. So yes. electric arc has a that range of thirty feet. That will be in the, the stench. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So electric car has a range of thirty, which apparently yep. need to go one more. Um, okay. so because it goes in between two targets, technically he's within thirty. The crotalid and then bear. If I okay. cast electric car, would I get both of them, or do they both need to be within thirty? Uh, let me double check. I think it, I think it uh, means they need to be within thirty of each other, not of you. Yeah, all right, you deal it. Uh, arc yeah, of what I will do leaps from I'll, one you deal yeah. yeah no 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 I think I think it's you hit the target and then it jumps to so, as long as like one's in range it doesn't have to like they don't have to be in range well I think they have to be at, at 30 yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 I'm clarifying so, so it's easy for you yeah yeah, right. yeah, yeah no, no. regardless I will go in there do you want me to deport to the bear? now or later no or I'm moving bear. here yeah. now okay. so I need to make a fortune okay. against the thing right yes yeah okay I'm gonna go, whoa! Hopefully, I won't puke my guts out. You hey, do not puke your guts out. You smell worse. Yeah. Radical. Yeah. Get it, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I exist. All right. <laughs> so, real quick, I guess I'll help with the bear. Now, the real question do I thunderclap his ass or do I heal? <laughs> do I heal or do I go? I think I'm gonna do a little crack of toe again. And produce okay. a flame at him. Do you talk to yourself often? Yes. I'm following all of this, and it's very yeah. engaging. Yeah. Yes. I hit him by You'll one. Hit it. You'll and hit it. I deal Rolies. six points of damage. You kill the bear just as it raises up to attack your allies. The ball of fire goes sailing between Volley and Tannhauser, smashing into it, and then the bear collapses. Rock on! Yeah, my kill! Yeah. Only my kill! Yeah! yeah. Revolution! <laughs> Tears off his shirt. Like, yeah! The, the remaining crotodile, hearing your, <laughs> your <laughs> cheers, <laughs> sneaks across the building. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! Watch Crit. out! Oh. <laughs> yeah. As the crotodile misses, he kind of, like, the mouth will come up and he'll, like, step back and go, pop. Adam. Yeah, yeah, it's like trying <laughs> to slap you twice. Like, <laughs> just giving the crotalid as much disrespect as possible. Like, come on, come and try to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad my friends aren't dead. I'm going to make that thing dead as well. <laughs> oh, Yo, Rahua, get on the other side. Let's tag team it. Meta gaming. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks past Baldrick very gently. Hi, Baldrick. <laughs> yeah. Target and we do a little picking. Hey, hey, Rahua. Yes. 
<laughs> you might have to make a stinky save real quick. No, the, no, no, no. The, the stench technically no longer applies. I mean, it's a weird rule, but it's. But this thing is dead. When they're it's dead. Well, things dead. famously stop smelling when they die. Smelling when they're That's dead. Yeah, exactly. It's like how they're every 18. monster has gold in a wallet in a bank account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me damage, please. Here you go. One damage. <laughs> Take your He's three back. and go home. All right. Oh, so with that, goodbye. with that, the um, the pick comes down on on the, the quarter dial, and you hear this like exasperated, <gasps> oh, 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 like a whole bunch of mumblings from the crowd, and you hear like the jangling of coins and the disbursement of people above. Um, and like as this finishes, each of you sort of catch catch a moment to to breathe. Um, the, 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 the bear stops wafting quite as badly. Uh, you all recover from your respective uh, sicknesses. And the guards open up the, the portcullis uh, to the east, where they slowly, like, direct you out. And you see uh, Hummel there. All right, you got to go now. You should just head down the path. Well, Baldrick knows the way. He'll show you to take you back to the streets. Yeah, Good yeah, job. I'm sure. You made us a lot of coin tonight, I guess. Are you sure you don't have another three bears to throw at us? Four if you want. Pass, but thank yeah. you. Yeah, I'm going to pat his head. <laughs> yeah, I think we could kill them. And, uh, one one second. While. Thurston, yes. before we yes. go too much further, mm -hmm. can I flag Volley down? Absolutely. Bolly. Uh, oh, yeah, what's up? Can I have a bottle of yours? A bottle? Yeah, a drinking a full bottle. One? Uh, I'm gonna reach onto my belt, pull out a, another flask. Uh, this one is, I think it's rum. It might be. Right. Well, uh, Thurston, I would like to quick alchemy some arsenic. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that is my last alchemy for the day. Okay. And I am going to poison the shit out of this rum. What? What are you putting in there? Oh, I get it. Don't worry about it. Just hold tight. Huh? Hey. Yeah. Baldrick is going to shout over to one of the guards, who's probably like one of the guys who just kind of shoved us in here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully not bother Hummel too much. Yeah. Hey, you. You're... Yeah. What it's a lot it? of fun today. Here, on the house. Baldrick will pass rum. him the rum. Well, thanks, Buckethead. I always thought you were a bit of a jerk. Well, drink to your success, I guess. Yeah, let's get going. My rum! Uh, on that fucked up note, uh, I let any rum? us... Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, on that fucked up note, let us maybe take our first break. Wait, yes. before the break... Can, can I make a perception yes. check to see if he has like a hanging wallet that has like pictures of his family and his kid? Oh, and absolutely! Like, oh, wow. like, okay. In fact, he's he's got like probably like he's adopted several orphans, you know, and that's why yes. he's been mean. Oh, that's he why he's been mean to Baldrick this whole time. Okay. Yes, got, like, Thurston, a make 15. us commiserate with the fascist yeah. police. Can we, can we get? <laughs> he's got like his mug that says "Number One Dad," and the other one says like "My Husband." <laughs> You know, so it's like you know. <laughs> no, it's Speaker D and too. Thurston making us uh, sympathetic to the fascist police of time. Yeah. And the only reason he was mean to Baldrick was because he didn't know that the orphanages was a lie, and he actually thought Baldrick was an orphanage yeah. murderer. <laughs> oh, the deep lore here. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, let's let's go for a break. <laughs> All right. He was two days I need a snack. <laughs> Alright, alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna transition this over and I'll talk to chat and everything as we go right. on break. So so we'll uh five, ten ish minute break, everybody. Yeah. 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 We love Save you. Him, guys. Hey. Thanks for all the support. You're hey. great. Thank you very much. As our adventurers take a break, we'd like to take a moment and thank our sponsor, you. You sharing the videos, advertising the streams, and supporting us on Patreon makes everything we do here happen. You help us create the show, create a custom tabletop RPG setting for your campaigns, create monsters, items, spells, and more, all for you. If you love what you've seen so far, or if you want to use the monsters and assets used in the show, please visit our website at www.narrativedeclaration.com for our Patreon and more. Hey, we're back. 
<laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, we're back. Queen. We're back. You don't want to know what we we're, were back. talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I think they do. Focus the camera. There we I go. did. All right. <laughs> Focus. So, oh, quick thing, quick thing before we start. Yes. Uh, because uh, some people weren't put in putting the bits and hashtags thing for the players uh, correctly, uh, I'm going to give everyone a hero point to kind of just uh, yeah. refund them to make sure everybody ah. has one. So yeah. everyone should have one hero point now. Hero quest. Hero quest. Not hero quest. Good. So, bringing us back into outset uh having completed your your task in the arena you make your way out some of you more bruised and wounded than others but you find yourselves being led by baldrick who has been through this a few times in the past um out from a series of connecting passageways into the streets of the district of outset you find yourself in the ponds blast uh, this particular area is built around sinkhole you emerge out into not a crowded street but sort of like a um a concourse that goes around several buildings that you can see in the distance multi-leveled several of them have very similar appearances like they're they're templated buildings that were built some of them are slightly slanted uh further off in the distance you can see the large shanty town of wooden structures that are built off of each other um and this is sort of the view you get as you exit. Now, as you uh, as you all exit the the jail uh, district you found yourselves in, someone approaches, uh, and she stands out from many of the other meandering sort of citizens or the crowd who is dispersed from their their daily entertainment from betting on bouts. Uh, this woman clearly approaches you, uh, seeking you out. She is a half-elf woman based off of the, the curvature and point of her ears. Uh, she's bedecked in sky-blue robes, but she looks very small because of these robes. Like, these robes are like, bulky around her, and it looks like she's having trouble even moving in them, but she she seems to comport herself. Um, she wears a set of sleek golden reading glasses and has a heavy iron uh, chain around her neck that has a sealed scroll case as a necklace. Um, she sort of waves her hand up in greeting to you um, and, and starts approaching. Oh. To whom is she specifically waving? Uh, to, to like, the, the group. Like, all of you as you have The asked. group. Yeah. Oh, the ladies okay. are here. Uh, uh, do I still st smell like bear stink? Yes. Yeah. Just... Uh, <laughs> you smell like alcoholism. Well, Just that's keep calm every for a day. moment, all right? It's just a person. Um, if any of you have society, you may society. give me society uh, to give me a recall knowledge check to see what you might know about this. Excellent. I will do just that. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, absolutely. I can can I roll with a minus one? Oh, I can one. absolutely roll a 26. Woo! Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I'm a little society. preoccupied. Yeah. Society. Yeah. Society. Holy Ooh. shit. Ugh. Natural uh, 20. Okay. Jesus. Um, Remember to say your out rolls out loud for people who can't oh, yes. see. Yes. Natural 20. So, so Tannhauser, uh, you do not succeed with a 10. Uh, Baldrick and Volley, uh, you both uh, critically succeed on this check and in fact recognize uh, the, the particular robes of office that this person is wearing. Uh, this would denote them as a member of the Architects Guild. Uh, one of the larger guilds in Outset that is responsible, surprise, surprise, for a lot of the construction that occurs with the city. Um, typically, the the scroll uh, case that's worn on the necklace is would, would like hold like contractual deeds for projects they might be working on. So oftentimes, their their agents will whatever project they're on, they'll actually have the the deed to that project that they wear as a neck piece for both protection and in case they need to produce it to display uh, for anyone that they are interacting with. Um, so you see this woman and she approaches you. Um, you actually, um, you know what, with a critical success, I will allow both of you, and I'll start with Baldrick on this one, uh, to ask me a single question of something you want to know about the architect. Would the Architects Guild have any sort of inbuilt corruption similar to that of the Tyrants Guild, or are they relatively clean? 
Um, most of the guilds have some form of of corruption. However, that is typically sure. at the like very upper levels. A lot of the people who might be moving around generally would like generally are so this is one of the guilds that's more focused on their business. So if this is someone here who's not part of the political branch of the guild, it's very likely they're just trying to accomplish their building. Like I have to build this, so that's their goal. Right. So you'd know that they're, like, corrupt at the higher levels where they try to position themselves and jockey for power. But as far as, like, individuals, especially in the lower mid-tiers of it, they're just people trying to get about and do their jobs. Okay, well, that's that's good enough for me. That's, yeah, that's about what I'd expect. Okay. Volley next. Yeah, Volley, uh, what question do you have for me? Um, oh, God. <laughs> um, you can do it. I, I would want to ask... If I could intuit sort of what their goal would be in this specific area, like, why would a member of the Architects Guild be rushing up to a bunch of currently, like, freshly freed prisoners if there's anything that they would specifically want? Specifically so I can know how to schmooze them. Yeah, um, Architects Guild will typically approach people for a variety of reasons. You would probably know enough that they are often... Um, repurposing structures or demolishing structures and due to civic guidelines typically those buildings have to be cleared first and so they might they might approach adventurers or the tough looking individuals to clear out structures all right uh oh also uh am i still sickened after stinky bear uh, no, no, you're no longer oh. sick. I assume you both spend the time to sort of like wretch up. Yeah, we got yeah. it. Yes. Just go on your character sheet, look in conditions on the conditions tab, and make sure you get it off. Yes. Yeah, I can. Yeah. We had a nice communal uh, retching. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. No, just yeah. as she was approaching, just lean over the railing <laughs> and just. Yeah. And you just <laughs> finished. <finish. laughs> we got ready. Oh, there we go. To, to that, I suppose, can, can I interact with her first? I mean, certainly yeah. you've seen her approaching. Does, like, Baldrick just step in front of everyone? Is that sort of the plan here? Yeah, because he's had a long day. He wants to go home, so he's going to, like, figure out what she wants and then, like, not faff about too much. Yeah, yeah absolutely. All so right. Builder's Guild. All right. Listen, it's been a long day, so either... And we're not a condemned building to be knocked down, so either you want us to blow something out or clean it out, can it wait until tomorrow? She cocks her head slightly. Oh, yes, I really, really appreciate your promptness. This is very good. You know exactly what I want. This is what I've come to expect from everything I've heard about you, Mr. Weathers. Uh, are you... I'll, I'll try to keep this brief. Do you and your companions have a few minutes to talk? Uh, I don't technically speak for them. They kind of just came out with me, unless you guys want me to speak for you. Yeah, I like uh... to hang. You're pretty well known around here, Baldrick. Regrettably. Hmm. Uh, is there any uh, money and/or booze involved in this, or booze money? Ah, Always. coins. Of course, you're getting right to the point. Yes. Um, I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Marlene, Marlene Lagasse, and I am with the Architects Guild, as you no doubt surmised. Uh, I have a task that I need done, and. After watching your bout in the uh, the arena today, I was going to go for that first group, but they didn't last long. You did much better, so I think you're all suitable for what I need. Um, I'm willing to pay fully in advance for this as well. Oh. How about you give me some descriptors before I accept any payment in advance for anything, because this is how I've been screwed with your guild before. Of course. Well, you see, what we're going to do is... Um, are you are all of you familiar with the uh, the apartments at the sinkhole? Uh, I could be if you let me roll a probably a society. Yeah, yeah, you can I'll give me another same. society. Check. I'm yeah, not from absolutely. here. Society! Society! Uh, neither am I. I'll give I'm you useless. a 22. 22. Uh, 12. Wow. Yeah, not so good. Yeah, um, so Tannhauser, you're familiar with the sinkhole. Like, the sinkhole is obviously the, the fact that the, the magical pillar of this district fell into the earth and left a big sinkhole. You don't know much about the apartments there, but you, you know single um baldrick you would have enough information to know that there are several 
kind of impromptu apartments that have been built along the sinkhole. Uh, in fact, you would have enough knowledge to to know that the property at the edge of the sinkhole is actually fairly expensive. Um, so in order to rent it or like purchase purchase land there and pay taxes there, it's, it's very, very expensive. But due to some uh, civic loopholes with how the, the city's charter and, and taxation works, what people do is they buy very small plots of land, like 10 by 10 square plots of land, and then build like wooden structures off the side of the sinkhole because anything on the sinkhole is non-taxable. So there are tons of just apartments that hang off the edge of the sinkhole. Baldrick is going to hold up a hand as if to stop her for a moment. We are not enforcers to evict tenants, for you ask. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Um, in this case, it's 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 fairly um, fairly different than that. I would say, it's the building is supposed to be uninhabited. Though there are some squatters who are in there, and we want to make sure that they are at least given some information that the building is about to be demolished. So in other words... So we are ousting people. Uh, well, I mean, not people who are legally allowed to live there. And so we don't want anyone to die. So are kicking people out of their potential hubs. Uh-huh. And if we don't kick the people out... You're going to just bulldoze over them? Uh, that's the problem. I'm not responsible for that. That's another department in the guild. So I'm trying to avoid that because I really don't want that on my conscience. Oh, oh boo-hoo, your conscience. How sweet. Right. Well, I've done work with you guys before, and if this is the worst you can offer me... Oh, well, that's not bad, I guess. It's not no rot-infested building. No, well, no, 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 nothing, nothing like that. Uh, and and how again, close I to can, the edge of the sinkhole is it? It's, it's a building that's off the edge of the sinkhole itself. Uh, it's a two-story tenement, is my understanding. I haven't been there myself, but I'll give you the address. Uh, but I could also pay you gold. I was going to say I have thirty gold, gold pieces. Uh, and she pauses, for each of you. And, like, all of you should know, mm. that's a sizable amount of money. Interesting. Hey, Bajor, that's quite a lot. How much money does it take to murder a guy? He's he's gonna just, like, hold up a finger, like, shush. <laughs> because he doesn't want to answer I need that. a no for reference! Hold on. I'm going to take a look at this architect guild mistress. Yes. I don't like working with parasites like you, but let's examine your proposition. You're willing to pay each of us 30 gold, each of us strong, presumably rightfully imprisoned criminals. You sought us out for this. And rather than give yes. that 30 gold to the people hunkered up in structurally unsound cesspits, that's what? Let's see. Over 150 gold pieces. You could buy them out. Why go through us? What are you not telling us? Well, the potential for there to be monsters or other unsavory creatures that have taken up residence in the building. It's when I when I refer to squatters, it's not just people. Hmm. And I believe in fair compensation for risks. Oh, we're exterminators. Got it. Well, I'd, I'd rather make sure that the actual people are cleared out. And Tanny, I'm going to nudge him with my elbow. Tanny? We can redistribute afterward. Hmm? Yes, it seems so. I don't enjoy working with this scum. But... She, like, her eyes kind of go wide and she takes a step back like she's been barked at by a dog. <laughs> Baldrick's gonna hold a hand to the side to, like, keep Mr. Other Neutral Good back. Uh, dial it back a touch. Not everyone in the Architects Guild is corrupt. Just You're right, high just up. the heads. I'm just saying, hold tight. I'm holding. I'm 
I'll All do right. it. We'll take the dirty money. Thank you very much. I, I assure Please you, it's don't. not dirty, but 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 but, but all right. I... Don't refer to it as dirty. Just making it complicit. Look, we'll take. Do you have? Just give us the address. We'll take a look at it and we'll see what we can do. She like shrugs, pulls out a a small map that has the the address on it, uh, as well as neatly divided sets of thirty gold pieces for each of you, which you could all add to your response. All right, we can go home. <laughs> yeah, we're at Skip Town, guys. Yeah. Get well, good here. campaign. I mean, we're now rich. what is she going to do? Murder us? <laughs> you do realize I live here, right? Yeah, we'll go to crash at your place, man. No, you won't. Why Why not? <laughs> I'll do it. I'm willing. Look. Just Baldrick is going to take a quick second to, like, size up everyone else, kind of, like, sidling up next to the Architect's Guild person. Okay. We have known each other for a grand total of probably about an hour. Yes. Uh-huh. Can I get a quick inquiry as to why we are all suddenly working together? I don't recall asking you to tag along. Well, I got really nowhere else to go. My friend just died. And you seem the best one to know about the city. So I figured hang around you a little bit, help you out a little bit if you're willing, and uh, I'll learn about the city and find the stuff I want to find. Not to mention, I'm probably still wanted by the family of the guy I ate. Uh, uh, <laughs> eight? What was that last part? Yeah. I'm not digging what into that. What did he that. taste like? I'm not, we're not digging into that. All right. Throwing away the suitcase. Maybe we'll unpack that later. So, all right, hold on. So we got his reasoning. What's yours, pirate? Well, a little bit of what he said, a little bit of my own reasons. You seem to know the city pretty well, and I'm a bit of a stranger here. I'm used to uh, sights a little further away. Plus, I'm, well, I'm down a ship. So, managing to... Uh, Make a little bit of money here will get me something that will get me far away from the shithole city. I got a question for you. How are you down a ship? Oh, um, Volley is going to kind of like, uh, like drum her fingers together. It's personal. So that was the explosion. In my well... experience, her mannerisms are reminiscent of something a human would call lying. No, of course not. Listen, I just happened to misplace it. You, uh huh. Did you we, misplace it into a building or into the ocean? Well, Vali. I has, think we're done talking to me. Vali has proven to be a true comrade of the revolution. I won't do this slander. Clearly, the ship was lost. All right, so in that case, why don't I turn that to you then, mysterious red-haired mechanical yes. man? Why are you following me around? Following you? I thought you were following me. Don't start right, this. Fine, <laughs> but instead, I'll simply say this. <laughs> Next bit! You all... Am? <laughs> you all have performed admirably within the arena, which means that you can be sterling companions in the fight against the corruption this city, I've seen inner idealism from some of you, and others incomplete and unabashed psychopathy. This is the most noble of mixes. I'm going to level with you. I kind of do this alone because I tend to get in a lot of trouble, so if you're going to bring your own baggage along, we're going to end up with a lot of crap on our tails. Well, I have some news for you, Baldrick. I've heard some whispers of your reputation, and I'll have you know this, if it was just you or just me against that bear, we'd be as dead as Jimothy. But we aren't. And Ryan. And Ryan. Never forget Ryan. Who? Anyway. Right. So, the fact remains, if we are to accomplish anything, we should work together as a... a the, the a crew! Oh, the, yeah, crew. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's that's not exactly 
the answer I was hoping for, but sure, that'll what was work. The answer you were hoping and for? gotta be honest with you, I I genuinely don't don't know how this is going to all work out. Again, I try to do this solo because uh, what I usually end up. Uh, excuse me. He turns to the architect. Could could you plug your ears for a second? I was gonna ask if I can go now. Uh, oh yeah, I, get get the hell out. Get going. My, my, bye bye. My, my candle backed is. Get the fuck out of here! Or I'm gonna fucking screw. No, just get going. <laughs> His eyes be in my office. I like your uh, shoes. If you need more work. Uh-huh. Uh, call me later. You got it. Well, well, no, I know where to find you guys. It's fine. Yeah, she heads like you did a good job with your hair. Turn. Bye. Baldrick oh. turns to make sure that she's gone. Can I roll a perception to make sure no one except us is listening? Absolutely. Okay. I gotta open up my sheet again, because funny. Funny. Funny perceptisept. Any any bonuses, penalties? Nope. Straight up. 19. 20 um, Yeah, no, you don't. Um, You just, like, you, you have the, the faintest, like, smell on the air of, uh, like, some kind of burnt substance, but that's it. Like, and it's just a common scent. Alright, with no one else in your shot. Yeah, uh, I've kind of been thrown in this can more times than I can count. Uh, on account of I continue to try and work against the damn Tyrant's Guild, because, well, uh, kind of level with you. I don't know if you've noticed, but they're not very pleasant, or well-meaning, or good. Tyrant. I caught that. Tyrant is in now, most people tend to forget that when it comes time for anything. It's, it's kind of amusing, really. Amusing in a sad way. But it's not its not easy life, and I wouldn't expect any of you to really follow along in that. Especially, he turns around and then looks up at Rahua. You really probably don't have any stake in any of this. You're just a... Uh, you, you, you really don't have a stake in this. Why are you following? Well, I am completely bereft of purpose. After all, my creation is an enigma even to myself. My only friend in the world is gone to parts unknown, and so I explore the ever-evolving state of the world. I don't know if I can really help in that regard, but I'm sure we'll find something. I'm or happy maybe to tag just, along. Maybe you'll just make enough money and you can like plant yourself in the in the garden or something. Rahua, know. That's not how that works. I, have a, I don't damn, know how I have work. a question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you willing to die in blood for the pursuit of justice and revolution? Rahua thinks for a second. I mean, die more or less. That's kind of the natural state of this world. So eventually. That's good enough. You are now my friend. That's wonderful, and his eyes just wide. Give me a high <laughs> five. Kind of wrecked his smile across his unexpressive jaws. Give it. I will give you a high five, and he will just full bore smack his ah! hand with the Tannhauser's hand. <laughs> Look. Do I have to do a check to like send him flying? Wait. How's that Wait. Are you doing that now? I got a thing. I got Athletics a thing. Really Both of you keep making noise, and I'll make you actually high five. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, no. Keep yelling. Yeah, high five. High five. High five. Yes, yes, yes. High five. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You're yeah. friends now. Yes. Oh my God. It works. It just works. It just works. <laughs> this is the most asinine thing I've ever been a part of. We are friends now. This is exciting. Yeah. Perfect. The Terrific. God grows. Okay. That all squared away. We probably have a little bit of time before we have to go take care of the squatter nonsense. Do we want to reconvene it? I can't believe I'm fucking saying this. Do we want to reconvene at my place? <gasps> oh, you're going to take us to your house? Rad. Yes, but I'm going to ask that you not make a big scene about it. Okay, okay, fine. Siren's Guild seems to forget where I live half the time, and I'd rather keep it that way. Sounds good to me. All right, uh, Erndil, my my comrade in arms, I want you to narrate because we'll we'll just skip ahead to you get, getting to the house. You 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 make your way through the city, um, walking along like crowded streets and passages, and then large open concourses and like tight plazas. Again, outset is a city that is very clustered and 
interior. So you're moving vertically, you're moving horizontally. And most of it is inside buildings that are inside buildings that are inside buildings. Eventually, Baldrick's just got his hands way. in his pockets the whole time. Yeah, eventually making your way to Baldrick's, uh, a, like homestead. What what? Where is Baldrick? Like, what does Baldrick's homestead look like on the outside? And then describe to us what it is on the interior. On the outside, uh, it appears to be much like sa the same uh, all around. It's the rather high-rise looking building where it's probably shared with a bunch of people. However, the upper parts of the apartment in question, the home, the domicile, whatever we want to call it, uh, are quite obviously caved in and abandoned. Uh, he leads everyone to the rather intact and structurally reinforced lower part, where there is only a single building a single doorway that leads into a rather modest-looking... a rather modest-looking home. It is not bedecked with any sort of colors. However, it is quite obvious that there are scorch marks, there is rubble, there is even what looks like to be melted stone and a little bit of a... Uh, like a gutter sort of hanging off the edge near towards the crumbling interior of the pillar, as he lives quite close to the edge. But not on the edge, because he's not one of those insane people that does that to be tax-free. He'd rather pay taxes than fall into a pit. I'm a criminal. I pay my taxes. He's not... <laughs> it's a different Neutral kind of criminal. Good. <laughs> hey, Robin Hood was still a... Neutral. Robin Hood was good, and he was still a criminal. True. Yeah. What do you got about that? It's, it's a very modest-looking place. It's not exactly <laughs> impressive... But it's quite obvious once you get in that he's hollowed out a larger portion of the ruined upstairs to hide other kinds of things. What else would you dare to know about this den of iniquity that is Baldrick? Oh yeah, by the way, coming in is is the wonderful aroma of bleach and chemistry. Oh, that's a clean smell. Yeah, just try not to breathe too deep. It's I'll do remarkably my best. hard to keep things in the containers, and do not open that sealed door there. He points, and <laughs> it's it's like a little. It looks like a vault, like a, a one person wide bulkhead, has been very firmly like entrenched into the wall that leads to a next room. Hmm. It's very firmly sealed, and it would obviously require a a certain locking mechanism to be opened up. You don't think that I, any of you could get in there easily? I will... You could probably knock down the wall if you were insane, but he might have some things to say to you about that. Hmm. You know, I'll take your word for it. What so, is uh, inside that door? That is a backup plan. Can a I see it? Plan. No. Is it cute? No. Oh. Is this... I don't think... For the for the purposes of your curiosity, what is behind that door is exceptionally not good if left to open air. So if you open up the door, there could be a reaction of some kind. So don't do it. Ah. Uh, I'm not talking about chat right now. Aurora Borealis? <laughs> <laughs> I am not talking about an allergic reaction. I am not talking about an average chemical reaction. I'm talking about a reaction the same way that uh, if you if you do certain things with chemistry, sometimes air gets set on fire. That kind of reaction. So don't do it. That sounds pretty cool. Do we it's know not. It? Don't open the door. Red. Aww. Take a seat. I'll get some coffee. Sure. There, there's just like shambles chairs all around, probably scavenged from various parts of the nearby buildings and maybe even the above ruined apartments too. But they're all horribly mismatched. Absolutely. Um, so, so as you 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 prepare, God, you all sort of messed up. Uh, are any of you going to partake in some healing? Perhaps? I would adore to partake in some healing, but uh, do we have the means? I for would that? be happy. Yeah. So, so uh, just a note. So we're, we're, we're optimal gamers here. Um, there is the yeah. There there's the usual like use spells, like heal spells, but there's also uh, treating wounds, which is another option available to us. Yeah. Uh, Rahua, you said you wanted to step up. What do you want to do, my my, my fine tree-ish friend? Oh, I was hoping to heal some of my allies, because that's my entire point. Oh. <laughs> well, I will allow you to live your entire point. Live your life. Um, live in the dream. Live in the dream, baby. So what are you wanting to uh, 
to do here? Like, are you wanting to like treat wounds or cast magic? Uh, we'll do we'll do treat wounds for now because I feel Dude. like that magic may be useful later to hunt. Okay. Now, if I recall correctly, can you, with an ability you have, use nature? Yes. I can. Yeah. yeah. Normally, you can only use medicine for this, but I think yes. <laughs> medicine on tree. Yeah, but 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 you, which nature is, is your nature is your same as medicine, so you know yes. whatever. Um, but yes, you yeah, could, your uh, natural you... medicine feet. Nature yeah. is the tree's medicine. Uh, who would you like to to uh, treat wounds on first, as uh, Baldrick is preparing coffee? Uh, Rahua will go over to Tannhauser. Okay. Ah, welcome. Tannhauser. Yes. You, I have decided, are my friend. Excellent. And so I'm going to help you. Really? Good. I, I'm happy to hear that there is such... Oh, Mid-sentence, Rahua, just his arms are held out towards Tannhauser. They both splay wide like starfish and just oh, tendrils vines. of beautiful green vines snake out towards him and, and wrap his arms. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no. I'm helping you. Hold still. <laughs> Do give, not resist, give me, man. Give me a check, no. please. No. I want sure. you to critically fail this so badly. Oh, Make this can sure. only go well. Okay. It's a uh, 16. A 16, so that'll be a success. So on a success, because the DC here is um is 15. 15. So on a success, you the, the target regains 2d8 hit points. Here. So you may roll me 2d8, and then reply it to 10 as I proceed. Boom. Boom. What do we got? Ooh, we got nine, so. a nine. Boom. Not I bad. have healed Tannhauser the Nine. Um, it carry, basically, it takes you ten minutes to do this, um, and then the target's temporarily uh, immune to the same action for one hour. Basically. So, like, you can essentially do it, like, every hour. So. <sighs> and I would assume, because, again, it's like ten minutes per action, I can still, in this time that Baldrick's taking, oh, not even yeah. after, just keep going around and giving people... Funny healing magic. Yeah, the only one else who needs it is uh, is Oren. Oren. <laughs> That's fucking terrifying. Stop, <laughs> little bro. tree arms. How's it going, bro? Skillet. It is going very well, bro. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to feel better? Nah, I, I got myself. Thanks, man. I don't. You hear a high pitched whistling from the I don't kitchen. Wanna, I don't want to be a browser history. I'm going to do the the thing on myself. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I failed. I'm going to spend yeah. a hero point. Oh, that please, that critical fail. Please, me. please, critically fail. Please, critically fail. Please. I got oh, max. Oh, 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 I'm, nice. I'm at max. I'm at max. <laughs> I was about to say, so on a, on a crit, you would regain so, 4d8. <laughs> so for me to actually do that, so. To, to heal people, you actually have to have something to heal them with, um, like with a healer with a healer's kit or so. Uh, so yeah. what I do for the spell first is um, is healing plaster. I do that first, and then I heal myself. Um, and what that does is basically in Pathfinder two to like heal somebody, you need a healer's kit. What this allows you to do is basically I just take dirt and go, and go bleh, it's enchanted, and now I'm now I'm good. <laughs> In fact, you did so good. I'll even let you, if you'd like, to just throw a little bit of that that pilaster just to, to top Tannhauser up, too, because he's just shot at the top. But you succeeded so much. Thanks, Upgrade generous voice in the sky. Oh. <laughs> oh, you but can you hear that one, it. too. I see. You are both yeah. efficient apothecaries. This is good. Yeah, That's you useful. want some dirt? No. Why not? It tastes good. He eats it like it's clay. Just oh, all right. Ooh, may I have some? Oh, absolutely. Rohro will take a handful of dirt. He just gives you the rest oh, of it. Is, like, eat up, man. This is rather nice dirt. Yeah, it's Rohro will good. not eat it. In fact, he will. A part of his chest will splay open, and some little vines will snake out, <laughs> wrap it My up. My chest explodes. I learned this from the bear. <laughs> Oh. Some little tendrils will snake out of his chest cavity, wrap it up in some twine, and just. Huh. Oh, I was really hoping. 
I'm sorry. I, I was really hoping Rahua would look at it, open his mouth, and go, oh, and it just goes right in. He's like, thanks. <laughs> like a Gosh. fucking oh, please. <laughs> I don't eat dirt. That's uh, inhumane. But I'm also yeah. not a human. Orin looks down, disappointed. Oh. Neither of you. <laughs> Um, I think enough time has passed. I was about to say, so Baldrick comes by with the coffee. You've healed up. You've had some time to, you know, watch Rahua do whatever the fuck that was. You know, you get to know each other sometimes on the inside. Uh, And then you make your way to complete this task that you were given by Marlene. Um, The the address that you were provided is is fairly close. Uh, But is... As Baldrick was decrying earlier, one of those houses that's built on the side of the sinkhole. Now, the sinkhole How? is an immense, like, just jutting hole in the land that goes down an unfathomable depth. And as you approach it, the air here is thick with fog and mist that swirl around. Not enough to really obscure vision in a meaningful way, but enough that it kind of gives everything a low level of pollution. Can I uh, can I get a quick scan of this building by using a crafting check to like in lieu of architecture? Well, uh, so so you're 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 approaching the building. You can give me a crafting check as you approach it, and I'll I'll describe sort of what you come upon here as well. Okay, I'm not using alchemical savant because it's not alchemy. Nope. Uh, that's a big number. Twenty five. Twenty five is going to be a crit success. Okay, you can tell that this this building is is actually two structures. Um, or at least like one big structure that's leaning off, and then you get the the side of or the site of like a bridge connecting it down to another structure uh, as you're you're sort of approaching. But it's difficult to see too far uh, because of some of the fog and because of what you see is like large stony debris that has collected around the edge of the sinkhole. Uh, so you can tell that the, the the building itself looks to be fairly well established. Um, with the the requisite like ten by ten foot square of property, and then the rest of it, this wooden structure jutting off the side. However, it looks like some of the wood has collapsed in places. Some of the ports haven't been set up correctly. Um, the lower one, it's really difficult to see what's going on in that structure. So you'll probably need to actually enter in and investigate. Uh, as I said, stones sort of brr, like large stones. Some of them twenty feet wide and cut and jagged are all around the edge of the, of the sinkhole which gives it this sense of like this was stone from buildings that might have fallen in 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 the way back when uh, as you approach however <clears throat> there is someone mulling outside of the door uh, and you see a figure who is bedecked in heavy plated and as you approach, you hear him pacing almost in a circle. Uh, he's in heavy plated armor. He's holding on to what appears to be a, a hammer and then also clutching a, an immense steel tower shield. Uh, and he paces around. And as he does so, you just hear this. Hmm. 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 I don't suppose that one's a squatter. I'll go talk to him. Uh, doubtful. Mm. Excuse me. Uh, Excuse me. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hello. The Architects Greetings. Guild sent us. Uh, ah. What exactly are you doing here? Then I assume you are also here to be uh, investigating these buildings for any potential squatting creatures or individuals who might find themselves unduly evicted and well fall into the into the, the depths. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Very. Oh, it's, it's, it's very good. I'm just, he's sort of looking over all of you. Ah, yes. I see. None of you have my my particular problem here. Very good. Very good. What problem? Well. You see, I've found myself in a slight mm, mm, predicament, one might say. Um, you see, as you can tell, I'm bedecked in some fairly strong armor. I'm, I'm from, from the land of Lejebet, you see, so I'm uh, particularly um, sturdy. Um, yes, yes. Uh, for some reason, the vision is working on the scene, 
gonna figure that just out. like last uh, time yeah it's there's a stupid thing that's happening here Here, you figure that out and it's like, it's yeah. like hey that guy's armor's pretty rad uh-huh just the average Don't knife by the accoutrements of repression Right. Yes, well. Hmm. Yes. Um, hmm. 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 Um, well, hmm. I, hmm. I suppose, um, well, I'm, I'm having a difficulty. You see, I'm in this armor, but, well, the, the building is, is made of, of wood, and I, I took a step in through the door. It, it, it's, it's, I, I may be in a bit, uh, how is, um, Heavy. You too heavy. You thick, man. Yes. Don't I, say that. Yes, it's so. Oh, oh. oh, it's it's a travesty. I know, I know, I know. But it's I I don't know how to how to handle this situation. I've I I wanted to go inside. I mean, there, there, there's that group in there. They're, they they seem to be having fun, and I want to let them know. I I tried yelling at them, but they wouldn't listen to me, and that was. Uh, very hmm. perhaps hmm. for this operation you are ill-equipped sir knight perhaps you would best find a different position to go to i i agree I'm just, just hmm, well <sighs> yes I, hmm, I i suppose that might make some sense yes hmm. Hmm. Hmm, well hmm. i what what exactly are you uh. going to Oh, did we just, uh... No, no, don't worry oh, about it. Back. He just he just did a fix. Don't worry. I gotta click a thing and click a thing. Don't look yes. at it. Mm. Chad, don't look at it. It's my privates. All right. This <laughs> is private magic, yeah. Mm, yes. Uh, Zoran, you gotta pick your words carefully. <laughs> he is picking them very carefully, did. I'm sure. I do. Yeah. I, yeah. I hate this family. <laughs> okay. I, I hate this family too. <laughs> yeah. At least you have friends. <laughs> At least you have. You got oh, a friend in nah. me. Right. So what you're telling me is that, and then Baldrick is going to go to the door and open it. Okay. Oh well. Um. Yes. Yes. You could certainly do that. I oh, I see the problem. Hmm. Yes, it's all wood in there, and it goes off the edge, and... Well, I was referring more to the, uh... Yeah, okay, well... Can I take a quick step in to look? Yeah, of course you can. It's, it's you see, like, there's a wooden hallway. It extends a good 30 feet downwards uh, to another set of doors. Uh, the wood here is, like, decent quality, but it's it's it's... Definitely like haphazard and sort of patched together different different sheets of wood that, that are being utilized. <laughs> so, perhaps in this instance, sir, you had best call it a day because if you mm, actually, depending on what's in there, if there might be some creatures, maybe we'd be able to lead them out to you rather than try to tangle with them straight up. Hmm. Yes, yes, of course. I, I, I could have my weapon ready for all, all sorts of, of uh, tumbles, as they say, uh, in these lands. Some, some good old-fashioned warfare. And he, like, clangs his, his hammer on the side of his shield. Hey, see the... yes. don't forget about the fisticuffs. Oh, uh, I suppose I could. I can't use my shield. That would be desecrating the symbol of leisure bet I, I, I would never it's, it's also part of the reason I can't take off this armor you see I couldn't just leave all right, it all right all right yes, my friend my friend yes yes that, that's fine in summary you can wait here all right who of our team let me think actually we might want to go in and send just a couple people rather than throwing everyone indoors because of this is truly as load bearing as it says I imagine only two of us at a time can go in Right. Whichever of us are lightest. So I would um, imagine it would be me, Oren, and maybe Tanny? I am not light. But I will go. And so maybe Thank just you. me and Oren? Or me. I'm not exactly heavy in this stuff. That's true. Again, it's just the helmet and the <laughs> breastplate. Hmm. I would say, send in Vali and Oren. 
I can rush in if they require assistance. The rest of us appear only if necessary. I'll wait in this little foyer here. So you go in, get their attention, let us know how it's going. And if it's a rot-infested thing, let me know, and I'll, uh... He kind of taps a couple orange vials. I'll whip up something quick. Sounds good to me. Oren, my fellow feathery friend, shall we go? Sure thing. That's something we got to really meet, eh? Hi, I'm Oren. Hi, Vali. Good to meet you. Yes, Hi. I'm, I'm, my name is, is um, Sir, Sir Crunch of, of Leisure Bet. It is a, we, it is a pleasure. Uh -oh. Okay. Ah, right, see you later, man. <laughs> it, it's like he, it's like he <laughs> turns awkwardly, like like the knight wanted to be included, and it's like, all right, man. <laughs> my oh, I point out, my I point out, I'm having like, I'm having the exact same uh, mental aneurysm that I'm having of watching Zoran play Dark Souls, where he'd talk to an NPC and then tap through the dialogue, and I'd be like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You can't do that. That's right. Like, I like how uh he's like, he's like, you, like you, I read the entire character's fucking biography and you're not respecting yeah. two lines of dialogue that explains <laughs> five billion years of backstory. Look, and if I like, really oh, wanna <laughs> he's like, oh, if I really wanna the water sass nice. you. Skip, skip. If I really want to sass you, everyone in chat's like, Oh, Sir Crunch, it's the Onion Knight. Oh, you skipped the Onion Knight in Dark Souls, you soulless No, I did. I talked to him. I talked to him. He was there. He was like, sup, bro. And I was like, sup, bro. Then I moved the fuck along. <laughs> Whole quest line. Okay. Uh, yeah, also so didn't so save Solaire, so you can, you can get me on a cross if you want. <laughs> You skipped Solaire! Zorn, stop digging yourself a hole. Yep. We're losing viewers. <laughs> yeah, cancelled. <laughs> um, all right, so so, so as Kill. you come in, Kill um, you see you see like yeah, there, there's a hall that extends on. There is a door. Uh, there is, is a wooden door that is closed at the opposite end. Uh, you come in and like whilst it creaks, you can tell you're still firmly on like ground. Um, like this is this section here. Um, Volley, were you going to take like a trepidatious step? Up. Yeah, yeah. Keeping my my footsteps light, I'm gonna try. It seems and, like uh, the the wood here is out. incredibly sturdy. So like you're you're huh. moving up. It's not giving you any problems. I see. Well, as, it seems the wood is sturdy-ish. As we're but... walking through, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> go ahead. I am. I'm interrupting. Oh uh, no, you're good. Just motioning. Everybody might want to stay on standby in the foyer here with Baldrick. Uh, maybe not all of us. I think one will suffice. Well, that part's not over the, uh, over the dip. It could carry yeah, an end, Yeah, but I have though. no idea how sturdy the, the actual floor beneath the floor is. Eh. Also true. All right. All right. As we're walking through, Oren wants to glance around at the wood. And, mm -hmm. uh, I would like to do a nature check to see, obviously, like, what type of wood it is and what its condition is. It's like, it's just... Sure. Like, like if, uh, Tannhauser walked down, would he just fall through? Yeah, absolutely. All right, whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, it's not, well, it's a 16, but. Um, yeah, so a 16 is enough uh, for you to, to know. The wood here is um is a fairly high like quality. It's probably wood that's been imported from the, the nearby swamps of solitude, uh, where a lot of the wood from the city comes from. Um, this is like hodgepodge, so it's made up of like yeah. a bunch of different um, sort of wood sets but you can tell it's it's sturdy like this is well supported um it might not be that good if you have legitimately like a wall of metal on it but even tannhauser wouldn't wouldn't cause much problems cool and say hey the uh, valley was it yeah i think they could actually walk in this stuff they're actually pretty sturdy give it like i would tell you give a good stomp but it would you know alert whoever's over there right but, uh yeah, I actually so, am pretty the confident they can walk on this. Huh. If it's so sturdy and if it's of such good make, then why is our big tin can friend so afraid of coming in? Oh, well. Uh, I smell that maybe something's being passed off onto us. Well, I'm fine hmm. with that. Not without paying me first, right? Well, yeah, no. you already paid. Him. We're also doing this guy a favor. <laughs> Baldrick's gonna shout down to them. Open the damn door! 
Well, it's safe for you guys to come in if you'd like. Just make sure to check on the big tin can, see that he's not, I don't know, shaking things while we're gone. <sighs> he will go next to the door mm -hmm. and view the knight. Where'd the knight go? The knight's just been like, like sort of patrolling around here, kind of humming and hawing, possibly talking to like Rahua and Tannhauser. You, hmm, you have a, a, a metallic appearance and you have a wooden appearance, my friends. Very, very, very good. Very. Why is that you very are good? It's, uh, I'm, I'm not used to this land. I'm, I'm foreign. Where are you so from? I haven't seen many people. Well, uh, I'm from the land of Legibet in the uh, the Inheritor lands. Uh, surely you've heard of it before. Be oh, it's of the very best interest to leave this place. Um, actually, what, what do I know about the kingdom of Legibet? <laughs> now you can give me a society <laughs> actually, check. Actually, what do I know? No, wait, 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 wait. No, go through his dialogue options and find out. That's where the lore fuck is. You, fuck <laughs> you, <Zorro. laughs> Actually, you make a good point. Uh, is am Thank I you. am I touch? Can I uh, just take a? Look, look at his shield, and I'll yeah. You I'll yeah. cast object whispers on his shield. Oh, okay. So as you go to do that, uh, you go to touch it, and but he like recoils. What, what, what are you doing? A uh, moment. This is my what, what, privy friend. My Shut up. What? Why? 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 I want Because I want to touch it. <laughs> Why? Explain to me this instant. Just want to touch your shield, bro. Because I think it's very pretty and impressive, and it's so very cool, bro. <sighs> so shut up! It's infectious. Well, uh, 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 Rahua reaches down and starts grabbing onto his helmet too, and just feeling it. <laughs> and like this, this man just like backs up as like these two of you are fawning over pieces of him, like. Uh, <laughs> this is most uncomfortable. I, I'm, 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 what? Guys, if you're going to be following me, I encourage you to not fondle every person on the road. I just Holly, can you please open out. the damn door? Yes, I'm doing that. I'm going to open it. Tannhauser. Yes. <laughs> okay, you open it. Click on the door, Volley. Yes, I yeah. did. Okay, so you open it to see a, like, you, you see uh, several things at once. Um, you see that you step into another room. There's, like, a destroyed wall to your left. It looks like it leads into some kind of storage area. But most importantly, as you step through, you, like, step onto, like, a, a damp sort of, like, carpet, stained carpet. But you look over to see a table upon which... Uh, three individuals sit. One of them is sort of like backed, uh, backed in a corner, and you only see like the faintest hint of because of a wall. Um, but as you do that, one of them stands up and sort of walks around the edge of the table and like, like strides towards you, having put down their cards face down. And this fellow comes at you with wide arms and just, you know, why well, hello. Oh no, not this guy. Oh no. Does uh, this guy also hi. like to gamble? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Hello, my friends. Uh, can I ask what's going on in here? Uh, we are partaking in a, a bit of uh, games of chance. My name oh, is no. Prince. Oh, no. My name is Prince Duchelf. Prince, alright. Hi. I'm Vali. Ah, very good, very good, Vali. You are as beautiful as your name suggests, as is your friend there. Aww, What's up, bro? you're such a flatterer. So, you're here playing poker in this dilapidated building? Well, you see this building, it's uh, the atmosphere place, as we like to call it. Uh. Atmosphere place? Uh, how... Long have you been here? Uh, a couple of hours, playing, trying to get out of uh, Todrick's coins. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. Well, I regret to inform you all that you probably need to get out of here, unless you would like to be uh, bulldozed. Where's that? The Architects Guild is about to swoop in and knock this place off the face of the canyon. And, like, oh. Baldrick, you hear the shouted response of, Those self-righteous fuckers! I know, I know. 
Unfortunately, we are just the messengers. Nice. Uh, I suppose. Uh, do you want to give me a diplomacy check here, Valley? Yes, I would indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Don't, don't screw it up. Yeah, don't. No, oh, I'm, I'm about to fuck it up would, real hard. I would like to aid, if possible. Okay. Well, like, yeah, like, you know, for your safety and everything, like, you can't have, like, someone with, like, you know, like, wings like me and stuff. And, um, uh, there might be some better options a little further in the city, you know, closer to several, you know, convenience meat stands and, like, well water that is not as contaminated as over here or something. So I think it would be, uh, you know, to your thing. All right, I got a negative one. Let's do it. <laughs> I got a dirty 20. Oh, uh, I got a four. Oh, no. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a hand over Oren's mouth. And you, it, and you see it. You, you try to, um, but Oof. that doesn't quite. Uh, that doesn't quite quite work. Um, gosh. Um, and in fact, it seems like it's causing uh, some 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 problems. Like Oren's like. Orin's sort of taken away uh, from from your diplomatic attempts. Um, no, Vali, can you give me no. a can you give me a diplomacy check? Or sorry, Another a perception one? check. Perception check. Oh, perception. That's the one I wanted. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, where is it at? Here we go. Um, uh, twenty one. Okay, so you catch the, the slightest exchange. Um, though you don't have a good look at the, the fellow, you can see that Prince gives a brief, like, eye, like, head cock and eye back to the man in the corner of the table, um, who gives just the slightest, slightest nod. And then Prince turns back to you, he's like, Ah, oh, you know what? You're right. We should, uh, we should go to another place. Come on, boys. We should, we should get going. Eh. We'll find some more gambling somewhere else. Maybe we go back to the bar, you know? Very good idea. Which bar, fellas? What's good here? Ah, uh, well, you can come to... Come to, to our place. We run it. It's called uh, the Cackling Jackass. The Cackling Jackass. Now that sounds like a party. That's uh, right. What? I'm gonna, like, ruffle Oren's hair. <laughs> <laughs> So right. well, get out of us, and they all like take take their their collecting like items. And... So, uh, might I ask you a quick question before you go? Oh, of course, of course. I'm gonna lean in really close. What was that look for, buddy? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking. About. No, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna hold out a hand for him. No, we can have a quick discussion before you go. I mean, I don't think do we'll mean? all be bulldozed. You gave him kind of a weird little look there. Uh, while this is happening, yeah. Baldur's going to call out to the guys out there. Look lively, guys. Uh, uh, well, if you would very much like to, I suppose if you wish to touch the shield, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. It is a, it is a fine, fine, fine heirloom, but yes. Focus! I'm afraid I have something more important to do at this point. Oh. Going to uh, well, all right, head on inside. Sure. What's the situation, Baldrick? Just get up along the wall with me here. I can hear someone coming out. Wise. I'll, uh, I'll do just that, and I'll pile up just a little bit further along. Oh, wait, this sure, door opens sure, sure. backwards, so I'll, uh, I'll get to the other side of it. Yeah, totally. Um, like, at this point, like, Prance is still looking at Vali. Rahua, what are you doing? Are you just, like, sitting there with Crunch still? Yeah, just still talking to him. Just kind of... Just kind of hanging out. Ugh. Just being bros. Yeah, just sure. chilling. Well, you see, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a renowned craftsman where I'm from. You see, in fact, this shield of mine, it doubles. Uh, I can turn it like, like this, and he awkwardly tries to do it one-handed, and I can use it as, a, as an anvil. That is fascinating. Yes. Of the things that you know how to craft, I find myself a crafts thing myself. Do you know how to make any medical salves or ointments? No, 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 no. Most of uh, most of what I uh, I'm knowledgeable on is uh, things relating to crafting of weapons and ruins. Oh, I, I, I can I can give you all sorts of 
runic abilities and such. If you ever find yourself in need of a craftsman who can uh, chant weapons with, with runes or transfer runes off of existing weapons, well, I can certainly assist you with that. I think I may need that at some point. This... My hand only does so much damage, you know? It just... Ah! Just kind of punches the air very gently. It doesn't do much. <laughs> ah. Mm, mm, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Very good. Mm, mm. Uh, and as we cut back to Lake Bali, it pros uh, and pro pros like Look City Valley. Why don't you just drop it? We don't want any trouble here. No, I don't want any trouble either. But is there something you need to tell us? Because we're just here to make sure that nobody gets, you know, bulldozed. But if the bulldozers are coming, we're getting out. Good. Is there anything else we should know? Nothing up here. There's the, the chest to that way, and he points, like, northwards. Uh, but we, uh, none of us wanted to do the jump. Uh, well, we didn't go down that bridge there, and he points back. It seemed like uh, like it'd be... Uh, who knows what was down there? Uh, he pauses and then sort of leans in. Uh, the old owner of this place was, was uh, quite the character. Oh. How do you mean? Um... Uh, Madame Brigani uh, really liked hats. Really liked hats. Huh. Hats? I mean, I, I, as you can see, I'm a bit of a connoisseur myself. Yes, well, I guess uh, all of her hat stuff was down there. Her hat stuff? Yes. Huh. Inventory of hats. I have to find them. Well, good luck. Come on, boys. Let's go back. All, all right, to... we'll see you at the jackass. See you later. Bye. And like, yeah, you start so to see this group come through. Goodbye. Bye. I like your shoes. Maldrick leans against the wall, looking looking as non-threatening as possible, and just kind of ushers them out. How do you right, do hello, that? You must be friends. How do you, yeah. Yeah. You, how do, you do that? Do you, like, hold a kitten, or... Huh? Like, how does Baldrick... Non-threat, as in, like, he's got his arms crossed and he is <laughs> leaning against the wall. He doesn't that, have a knife that'd be or threatening. a club. I don't, I don't know. If I'm in the <laughs> middle of night, like, with the front, with a hanging building, and I see you leaning against the wall with your arms crossed, I'm going to think I'm going to get murdered. <laughs> I'm not making any moves. I'm just not at them. That's even more As each threatening. one of those people pass by Rahua, he just says, Hello, I'm Rahua. And just four more times. And, Hello. like, the last one, like, passes Hello. by you. And, like, as the others continue on, the last one stops and turns to you. And you, you see this figure, Rahua, who, like, clearly has, like, a bit of swagger, is walking with, like, a walking stick, has a, a fine top hat. And this silent figure turns to you and, like, gives you this almost flourished bow. And then walks off. Hmm. Oh, he's got some drip. The drip on that man. <laughs> oh, he do be dripping, though. <laughs> oh, looking kind of fresh, though. The fit goes so hard. Yeah, he's looking he wet. kind of nice. <laughs> well. Wow. Why? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is that how you say it? No. Is that like the upgraded form no! of drip? <laughs> My. Anyway, all right. Load bearing is done with. <laughs> hey, night. Well, that's this section dealt with. Anyone else? Yes. Well, we're going to have to check. I hear that apparently the former owner is a bit kooky for hats in particular. Hats. I don't know if that's a euphemism. It, it knowing this place, it either is, or it isn't, and I can't decide those which are, is worse. Those are two very distinct possibilities: that it is, or that it is not. Yeah. <laughs> what about it? It's cool. What are you say? I don't think there's a third that, option. You know, uh, that, that's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Orin starts going up to her, the guy mentioned the chest, and he sees it. Yep. And he's yeah. Like, so you see that there is a, like, the, 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 the wood in this area as you come across, like, now there's, it's exposed right over the sinkhole. There's, like, some, like, 
supporting timbers that are like maybe stable. There's about a ten foot jump and then a chest at the end of it. Oh, cool. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get it real quick. And why? Is that yeah? And uh, with his, I'm basically just gonna jump with my strict wings. I can more than likely make the distance easy. Yeah, don't critically fail. Yeah, but I don't. But I don't roll for that. Oh, you don't. No, you, you like don't roll the normally jump. You do it if you exceed a distance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I basically. So just how go, far are you? Let's see. Oh yeah. In addition, right when you make here. a long jump, you can jump a distance ten feet further, which is absolutely yeah. You just like hop, yeah, glide, <laughs> land by the chest. Just pigeons. Yay, burr. bird boy. And uh, and what he'll do is that he'll kind of look at the side like. He wants the nature jacket. Basically, okay. he's looking to see. Uh, there was like, okay, I'm gonna see what the wood it's like. I'm looking to see what's going on with the chest. Like, see if there's yeah. anything abnormal with it. You know, anything that might potentially kill him. Thirteen. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't see anything that'll kill you. Cool. Well, what he's gonna do? Like, he's gonna. Is there a handle on the side? Yeah, it's basically like a latch that you pop on top. There's handles on the side, but it's a pretty bulky chest. Cool. Uh, so is the chest an asset you can move or no? Um, I've got the, the items inside it, so I can just provide it to you. Okay, well, let's mean if you could physically put it. Basically, he's going to get over to the side of it. Mm -hmm. and, oh, uh, I see. And then he'll kind of... Oh, he's like, watch out, Valley! And he'll kind of... Uh -huh. Is it locked? You mean like that? <laughs> no, I was, I was making, no, I was making sure if it was a mimic, I would be in a position to do gust of wind and just poof, off the edge. Oh, oh no, 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 no! You're 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 fairly certain this is not a mimic. But thank you, okay. thank he you. He opens <laughs> like, the do, do you attack it once? To yeah, do you have a Lloyd's talisman to yeah. throw at? That yeah, yeah, yeah. throw my Lloyd's talisman. <laughs> just Next bit, he, dark soul he, open, brain. he opens the chest. Okay, um, so there are a few things. First of all, there's a small pile of uh, gold pieces in it. There are eight gold pieces. There are two red potions, and then uh, amidst the the pile of gold pieces is a is an opal. Cool. He's just gonna scoop it all up, just throw it in my inventory, and I'll uh, actually keep it there. Okay. Uh, you can grant that access to us, basically, and then we can take from it whenever. We yeah, 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 that's what I'll do. Yeah, so we can see it, actually, and actually drag it into our inventory. Oh, this should, split it. this should be cool. Let's make all of you the owner of this. Let's see. Then you should see it. Bam. There you go. Oh. Uh, it should be under we... sessions and then session oh, one. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Give me a second. And then you should all Where's see the at? chest. Uh, if you go under the actors one, apartment and chest. session there monster session one, and then you'll see apartment chest. Yeah, ah. so a cool thing is, like, I'd, like, show and foundry off. So cool yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. chat. Basically, we have our character sheets, and basically, here's a chest with all the stuff inside of it, gold, etc. Uh, I think some of these with the certain stuff, you press the buttons like distribute gold and go, bring, yeah. it'll just give it to everybody. Uh, but now that I have this, because everyone owns it, so this just keeps it here. I just drag and drop that into my inventory, and even if I click the item, it'll actually just do all the math. Like for this healing potion, if I clicked it, I'm not, because I'll actually use it. As I said, don't use it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to click it. And, um, I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm doing so, something else. Look. You can also oh, do that. Oh, yeah, that's or, right. Yeah, where you, you even you like, can hide it. Yeah. What are they? Yeah. Who knows? They'll have to identify them to know. Yeah. So I'll have to actually do work and stuff uh, to actually be like, what potion is this? And I can just give it the baldric and he can figure it out. And what that opal yeah. is, I go, like, what's the opal? Um,. So yeah, so I have that, and I'm gonna double click that and save it to the side. Cool. All right, go! Yeah. I found all this. And yeah, stuff. I assume you just have all the stuff oh. on you, so that's cool. That is definitely gonna come in handy. Yeah, I'll kind of give some of this stuff to Baldrick and uh, Tenhouse. They might be able to figure it out a little bit more before I move on. Hey, let's go meet up with them. Hey, the fat oh, stuff. It's the pat. Oh, hey. You should get oh, going. Tree the friends. I will all is hold on the friendship. God wasn't the password. The password's friendship. I slide, because I like you. I found magic shit. Oh, that's cool. I assume I hand him the opal. Mm. You can just drag it from the chest thing. And then uh, Orin will come to Baldrick and go, Hey, Baldrick, I found some liquid yeah. stuff. Can you figure it out? 
Hmm. I suppose I could. All right, thanks. Yeah. Uh, you can give me a respective uh, arcane and um, crafting check. I will be done. Uh, yeah, so do I add my alchemical thing to that? Yeah. Why did I close out of my character? As you, as you yeah, analyze these items that Oren has come back and provided you. I'll give you a 22. Yeah, that's enough for you to identify both of them, recognizing them as mine. <laughs> I rolled a nine. You, you have you a hero point. Use yeah, yeah. my hero point then. Hero point. And you know what? Hero point. This is important. So, uh, Tanhauser is going to pull out the stops here, and he is going to begin focusing on this piece of machinery. His eyes are going to start glowing as his uh, mm -hmm. cognitive motors begin actuating in hyper efficient speeds, his cybernetics flaring to life. And I'm going to manite search. He did it. One. He did it. He's going to roll And so, away. now oh, that God. I've committed my my once a session, please, for the love and of God, pass point. the skill check. Surely. <laughs> yeah. I could yeah, surely. Possibly true. go wrong. Hey! Oh, it was so 21. fucking close. The one was, was just one <laughs> pip off. Uh, 21 will identify it. You identify it as a magical item called a mesmerizing opal. This is a talisman, which means you can affix it. In this case, um, I believe this affixes to uh, armor, I believe. Um, but what it does is you can, if you make a deception check to faint, so like you try to faint a target, it's a fixed armor. Uh, if you try to um, faint a target, and you could use it before rolling, and if the check would be a critical failure, you instead get a failure. I see. So it basically prevents you, say you have like a key deception check you want to make to faint a target in combat, you won't, you can use it to guarantee not crit fail no matter how bad. I'll, uh, I'll approach Vali and hand this to her. You seem like you're more spry in combat. Should things go awry with your many deceptions, this may provide you aid. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you, don't, Danny. Don't, 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 We're such fast I, friends. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, that's yeah, just, it's fine. Here, just have, I'll yeah. take it. I just pluck it from his right. hands. Okay. So uh, you should be able to drag it off of the, uh, the chest. Actually, here. I'll, I've got it all up, so I'll just drag it. Uh, inventory. And do you want mm. to put it onto your armor, or do you want to save it for now? Like, it's just an activation use thing. So. Yeah, so what Faint does, by the way, is that you basically spin an action to basically, like, you roll a deception check against their perception DC. So you're basically rolling mm -hmm. deception, and then if you succeed, you'll basically make them flat-footed. And if you crit, you basically make a flat footed for until, you know, the turn goes around. But if you so crit fail, like, yeah, you're yeah. flat footed against them, which this prevents. Yeah. Um, also, there's healing potions. Um, just for time's sake, uh, who who wants the healing potions? Um, I feel like the healing potion should probably go into the hands of the people uh, most likely to be slapping people. So I would suggest Vali and mm -hmm. Hazard. Since over who yeah. Baldrick and Orin will all have some capacity to heal themselves if it really worked on. That's very true. Correct. Yeah. I, I like this. Okay, so I have uh, given you another one, Vali, and I will drag the other one over to uh, Misiel Tenhauser. And what I'm going to do for ease of our session, and just so everyone else can have this, I'm going to create a party loot, uh, loot character, um, which I'll give you all access to. And what I'll do is I'll just put the golden stuff in there, and that way we can sort it out uh, without having to yeah. well, decide that out. Right now. Uh, people's okay. loot. Yes. True. I know, <laughs> shit. It's our it's, loot. It's the people's gold. <laughs> oh, no. Um, so as you're doing that, Orin's going to lean over. Like, Come on, Rahura. Let's go make sure the rest of the place is cleared out. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, come on, man. And uh, he's like, you too, Valdry. We gotta make sure all this is kind of, you know, spake and span so we're in the gold. Yeah, I know. I was waiting for that to happen. I didn't realize you were looting the place. Mm, do do I not was. worry, friend. I will guard the exterior. Hmm. Yes. Mm. I just hear him fade. <laughs> <laughs> this place is mm, yes. it's already decided. What remains within is spoils for the revolution. 
Yes, okay. yes, yes, I know. Justify yes. being perplexed. So as you Evidently, it's a lot of hats. Yeah. Why would you care so much about private property? Yeah. So, Baldrick, the room you enter as you go, like, taking that sort of broken down wall that was the left where, Va- where Vali came into this, this open building, you can see that it's clearly, like, some old, like, storage for foodstuffs, but it's all spoiled or just, like, has been chewed by rats or other vermin. Um, similarly, the, the group, you see a, a like, ratty, um, cut up and torn bed that is just sitting in the middle of here. Um, and then to sort of end off the, the, the entire affair, there is a long spanned bridge that goes on for about 40 feet downwards. Um, so to the West, but it, it descends as it goes and you get the sense that it's about a 20 foot ramp down. So this, uh, this building to the West, or at least the boards are 20 feet below this. Hmm. How stable does this bridge look? It looks fairly stable, like it's well supported, and the wood here appears to be newer and has a bit of a a bit of a stronger line to it than the others. Interesting. So this and is newer. recent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna run across first, just keeping my footsteps light. Sure. And just sprint on across. Do you want to give me an acrobatics check? Do. Yes, indeed. If you're I sprinting. Will. Or rather, keeping a uh, more just keeping my footsteps light and trying oh, okay. not to like. Yeah, if you're just walking across, not running across, there's no check. You can just oh, walk yeah. on across just fine. I'll follow suit. Just... Seems can sturdy I... enough. Yeah. Can I inspect the rotten foodstuffs to see if there's anything interesting growing among it? Uh, absolutely. Give me a nature check. Um, could I also theoretically use... Could I get a bonus for that, given I would know alchemical ingredients when I come across them? Um, I'll, I'll allow you, you know what, in this case, if you want to use uh, crafting here, too, that's... I would love to. Yeah. Uh, that'll get me an 11. An 11? Um, there's nothing of note here. Like, this is all, like, just general stuff. Nothing nothing actual. Uh, and he leaves the room. Okay, and then yeah, Rahua and Baldrick, you're still there, your your companions. Uh, Oren, I assume you just kind of glided down. I mean, I I went over the thing. I'm sorry, did I need the to make bridge. a check for you? No, 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 no. It's just the way you moved was like you you look like I you mean, were going. I, 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 I know. I, I went across and okay. went down, and it's just easier just to drag them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Escape. So you head down the bridge. Rahua and Baldrick, you're still there. The your your other three companions, Tanhauser, sort of at the door. Baldrick, would you like to go across first? It seems a lot sturdier for someone of your... He looks him up and down. Constitution. I am proposing that we both don't go across this so we can hold it together in case something goes wrong. You know that these buildings... Well, you don't know this, but these buildings, no matter how sturdy they look, always have a chance of something going wrong. Do they now? I wouldn't assume. Baldrick points to the large, dilapidated hole between this portion of the building and that one. You know, that makes a lot of sense now. What do you propose we do over here? Just meander and and talk? You can make it. Well, I'm proposing we just stand by for the moment. Gotta make sure that they can come back across, unless you fancy them falling into the void on the side of an accident. Because I don't think that's a good idea. We need you over here. Come on, it's sturdy. You know, keep it together with the team. You can't exactly throw that far if something does happen. And if the bridge breaks, then what? I fly over and we just go over to the land right there and he points to the cell. Yeah, you do that. What about those two? So so just clarify, like where you are, this is 20 feet. Like the rocks here are 20 feet. We'll climb. Okay. How about you just go? Okay. Go I can stay here. You can all go across if you want, but I think one person should stay here. Fair Mm. enough. If you and Rahu would like to bring up the rear, we'll make sure to uh, yell very, very loudly if we need you. Up to you. Go right across. You can stay here. Mm, Are you okay, Rahu? I'll be okay. I just want to make sure my friends are okay. 
All right. Oh. You're going. I'll stay here. We'll be okay. fine, big guy. Very slowly, we'll go across the bridge. Baldrick is going to sit and face this direction. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to watch that door. Watch that door. Okay. Um, so, yeah, Tannhauser, you're at the door. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to open that door. Okay. Do I die? Yes. Oh. No. It opens up into a, a storage room that has two wooden tables on it. Um, the tables are all covered entirely in hats and helmets. Uh, there's, like, various metal helmets, uh, some with, like long feathers coming out of them some of them like simple like caps of leather they're all just like spread around these tables <gasps> hold on move aside metal boy I want one hold on I'm gonna turn around my head uh, 180 degrees uh, to look ah. at um, <laughs> Baldric Baldric Get across yeah. this goddamn bridge. There's hats in here. <laughs> Do I look like I need a hat to you? Yes. yes. Clearly, one of the hats has to be Baldrick's, but it's like got like gold rim and yeah, just looks it's like an embroiled nice. bucket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Trim, the you're The more armor. time you waste on that dilapidated lower bridge section, the more time it has to fall into the abyss and none of you to ever you come back. So, you know, parties. up to you. I'm going to head inside. <laughs> yeah, sure. Get going. What well, kind of. Not doing this to not be fun. I'm genuinely expecting Thurston to be like, and then the building started to collapse and the bridge was swaying. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm Coward. gonna start putting hats on Rahua, just oh, like absolutely. reaching up. Like, I think this one's your color. Okay. Oh, let me see that. Okay. Uh, Tanhauser, you go up to the door. Yes. Correct? Okay. So there's a, like another door. In on, on the diagonal sort of this crop room that leads, uh, the, that seems to go to like a section, which you can tell from your descent down the bridge, there's a jet, a further jet. I see. Um, I will open this door. Okay. It opens to a room. Um, the back wall that you can see here is covered in shelves with like multiple hats. Like just along these walls, you can see probably two to three dozen helms that are there but there's also a large like hole in the in the the wood here that you can hear the wind rustling through much as it has been like sort of rustling in the background behind you helms how high quality do these helms and hats look oh, they look pretty 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 good like some of them are like dented metal some of them are again just leather there's one that appears to be like a really uh fine cap of uh, dark blue uh, fabric material with a large like feather coming out of it. I'll look at uh, Orin and Bali. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, that hat would look great on me. It's definitely not typecasted. Right, you're not thinking. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, <laughs> Bali? You're not thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm really liking that feather. That is not what I was thinking either. What I was thinking was that we could sell these hats for a lot of money. <laughs> that, uh, I guess, that's well, also pick true. Pick your favorite ones, obviously. But then we, Rahua, can can you roll me a D four? Trent House is the type of guy. <laughs> Trent House is the type of guy that saves his fucking bed sheets for eBay. One. Hey, these are nice hats. We live in medieval times dinner and tournament. <laughs> <laughs> medieval times dinner and tournament. Shit. Cool. Okay. okay. We live in anachronistic you times. You know how, cool. how expensive oh. good hats are now. Imagine. That's true. Uh, what was hey, Volley, What Tan was the Hazard. last hat that you put on Rahua? Um, we'll say it was the blue hat. Oh, the the fancy blue hat. Yeah, yeah, the blue hat. Okay, absolutely. Um, Why do you say that? There's I'm just things. curious. Um, no reason. Just curious. Ha ha. Wouldn't a, it be funny? Ha -ha. Is there a particular? Uh, I mean, it's not like you know. 
there would be some sort of awful thing that pokes its head out of the hat after it's on top of Rahua's head. Oh, that no. would be absolutely wrong <laughs> and terrifying if it were true. Some sort of helmet crab based monster which emerges out Aww. along with several other ones at the same time from various helmets that are They're on tables so and whatnot. They I'll are. This art is by Chocolate. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna give all the artists a shout out at the end. But yes, this one is particularly great. Um, all right. So, okay, <laughs> uh, my my friends, my colleagues, my uh, my my everyone. Um, if I could get each of you to put yourself in combat mode again for me, and um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have you all give me perception checks here, and uh, it's gonna be opposed by my lovely NPCs and their uh, uh, Thurston, because yes. I am not technically in the room, may I instead use stealth? You, yeah, absolutely. You know what? That's perfectly. I just wanna say Tenhauser has an incredibly good initiative, but I I Jesus I Christ, keep 22. Terribly for it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. No. Like, Tannhauser's initiative is like plus six and then plus wisdom. Oh, that's good. Okay, very good. Um, all right, I'm just going to reveal all of our crabs. So ah, crabs. Her feel. So crab, many crabs. Crab battle. All right, so as this happens, um, the one by be the one on the table beside uh, Oren, like comes to life as it pops out of a metal helmet and its little pincer claws uh, move towards you. So, uh, interesting note: uh, the helmet crab is a tiny creature. So what that means is is it can enter your square, and in fact, to attack you, has to enter your square. Um, the tiny crab, like still with its helmet on, like goes and attempts to strike you with its claw. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh, fucking natural no. twenty me. I want to get, I want to get decapitated by a fucking marmot crab. Yeah. Uh, so it's gonna do. I mean, it's not like it. It, it didn't is roll back right. Time um, for crab. It uh, will do six points of damage. Uh, oh, then it the will. Um, then it will also, I guess. Um, oh gosh, no! It's going to use its other ability to use a clip on. Mm -hmm. So it's um, going to clip on to you, which, oh, no! which basically is unless unless you move, you'll take damage at the end of your next turn. It can't, it's so tiny, this thing can't grapple you, but this crab is like, like basically pincering you, so you'd have to move away to not take damage. It's basically forcing you to, t to move or you'll take like crushing damage. He's snaps. going to turn into a tie. Baldric, you're up. You did like, Oren, do you like shout or something so, so Baldric can hear? Fucking crabs! I got crabs, Baldrick! They're fucking everywhere! <laughs> Baldrick, help me! I have crabs! I begin to build an alchemical fire. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> How far is this building away from me? <laughs> I mean... Are you in range? Yeah. No, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to take two move actions. Okay. To go here. Well, yes. that's not... I need to go yeah. there. That's 50. Okay. And then I would see. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Bingo. Bingus, I love it. Okay. Bingus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, charge requires two, right? Uh, what do you mean? To, uh, to charge an enemy. Um, uh, no, because charging is a special action only certain things. You, oh, so I can't charge. You can't charge. But you, you've double moved, so you still have it. Well, no, you, you made a bomb, right? No, that was a joke. Okay, so yeah, you then you double move, you still have one action. If you have a bomb, you can throw it? Like, you get an acid flask or something already? Uh, no, I don't, because I have very limited alchemical stuff at level one. Fair enough. So what do you want to do with your third action? There is one on Rahua that you could attack if you had, like, a... Oh, I can attack that? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 in an adjacent square, so... Okay, I will target Rahua. Okay, good. Target the, the crab on Rahua. I cannot target the crab, because the crab is underneath. Here, I'll move the crab there, so... I have targeted the crab. Good. I'll move it back on crab. Attack. Okay. Crab. crab battle. Swing. 
missed. Yeah, so you swing, and, like, you can tell that this this, this crab is, is very clearly, like, moving around on Rahu's head as you try to strike Rahu's head to knock it off, but it, it zips out. And that is the end of your turn? Uh, yes. Okay, Oren, you're up. So that this little guy is, like, like pincering your, your side. Actually, no, it's on your wing. That's what it is. Like, like Oren kind of flicks the wing around and go, flaka laka bam, electric cart, and then bzz, bzz, between the one okay. and me and Rahua. And oh, nice, yeah. They cool. both need to make a reflex save for me and okay, potentially so beat that, 17. Uh, yeah, so the one closest to you. Uh, and then the one for it. Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, How so do these the things second... have a plus eight reflex? Because they're fast. They scuttle. Um, so I'll take half damage on the first one. So. Yeah, so four damage each. Uh, no, the second one crit succeeds. So no, that's right. That's right. Yeah, because it like the, the one that is scuttling on Rahua's head um, is like moving so fast because Baltric has agitated it. It's just like moving around all over Rahua. No, uh, that's that's you. Nope. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, my that's last, last action is going to be a staff strike. So whoop, and I hit it by one. Um, I go whunk. Wait, so you're staying? Or was Electric Arc one or I'm, two actions? I'm, say what? Electric it's Arc two. is one or two actions. It's, it's two, two, so yeah, you're not moving. Okay. No, I'm moving so I can target him. Oh, okay. okay gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I can't target him when he's on me. I'll go back later. Okay. But yeah. So uh, roll me damage. Five. If you hadn't have done that, it would have moved it. Then it would have damaged. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, yeah, so you bonk this thing. It, like, you hear this squealing, like, ah, sound as it, like, collapses. Um, so I got one! Okay, one of them scuttles off the wall through the door onto Tannhauser. Ah, horrid beast! Crap! Tannhauser, watch out! It attempts to strike you with its claw, Tannhauser. It hits oh it hits Orin and Tannhauser, because apparently I had <laughs> I'll get used to that eventually, I swear. Uh, but it will hit you, Tannhauser, and do five points of damage, and then it, too, will grab onto you <sighs> as it pincers, <laughs> like, your ankle. No, stop! <laughs> I love that cut off scream. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rahua, you you are up, my friend. I am. Uh, can I call nature to find out more about these? Absolutely, crabs? you can. That'll be one action to recall knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Eighteen. Hell yeah! So this creature is called a helmet crab. It is a type of animal that inhabits helmets. Uh, when it inhabits helmets, though it can inhabit other things, um, it like becomes like fairly defensible. And like as you've noticed already, it can clip on. Um, you can ask me with that check. They're pretty low level creatures. You can ask me two questions about helmet crabs. Okay. <laughs> Number one. Yep. What do helmet crabs eat? Um, they tend to, uh, they, they tend to eat primarily, like, insects. Like, they're, they're very urban, so they eat, like, big insects. But they're fiercely territorial, so they'll attack almost anything. Follow-up question. Mm. Can they make, be made docile with the right treatment? Uh, absolutely they can. Um, there are certain skills that you might decide to utilize to try to like calm them like nature is super effective to command an animal because they're animals okay I like that you know I, I really like the sound of that so I, I know you do hmm. that was one Thank action what's, oh, what's for his next action my next action is to mm -hmm. make a friend okay I would Absolutely. like to use nature to try and determine if there's any insects on my person that it would be able to oh pick off and thus you're establish a, a, a form of commensalism. You're the sweetest fucking boy, Rahula. I love Rahula. Please, please give me He's a nature a boy. check. A He's boy. gonna make a friendly crab crab whisper, Rahula. No! <laughs> it's I not gonna be enough, but Rahula... I will roll a hero point. Yeah, that's right! <laughs> Now he'll, roll, now he'll roll, roll a natural point. one and I'll have the crab attack him mercilessly. <laughs> yes! 
Uh, better. Okay. Yeah, but better, yeah. Um, so with the hero point, Rahua, you are in fact able to like, like calm this thing down. So like, rather than like freaking about, the crab stops, like grabs this insect on you, kind of nuzzles against your head. <laughs> and then just like goes back into its hat, making the hat look like a hat on top of you. Ah. I think I'll call you hmm, Jeremy. Not again. <laughs> huh? What? I've no updated worries, the initiative tracker. Um, <laughs> Jeremy! I would like to use my final action. To... Uh, I believe is com- Let me check his command. Oh, is it? Command? No, it's, it's a one. So yeah, you've got one left. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I would like to use my final action to... Actually, is shouting out to the party considered an action or is that like a free action? It's free, free, yeah. Okay. I'll use my final action to feed another bug to Jeremy. (laughs) (laughs) Thank God. I was really worried for a second. Oh, as like, as, oh, yeah, oh, wait, hold on. One of my allies needs help. Like... Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. I can help with this. Oh, oh God, are you going to try to command the, the one on Tannhauser <laughs> now? No, no, no. Although, <laughs> yes. Just... Are you the crab whisperer, Hulky? Oh, I my God. Be. I would like to whisper He's to this Hulky, crab as well. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> For the subtle rustling of my leaves and unknown languages to mortal beings. I attempt to, s- to sway this crab's opinion to not harm my friend. All right, give me give me another nature check. I'll call Oh Please. my god, we're about to win by being whole. Yeah, set. twenty-one. Yeah, uh, the, the, the the crab like turns to you, Rahua, as as like and like we see it's like crab vision, and there's like the beautiful silhouette of Rahua there, and and somehow like the wind is rustling by him, and the crab simply, like, lets its pincer go and scuttles backwards slightly from Tannhauser in a, in a gesture that can only be like, sorry, bro, we cool now? I look down at this little crab that dared strike me. Yeah, bro, we are cool. And I put my finger out <laughs> cautiously against my better judgment towards him. And as you do that, another crab, like, ah, scuttles in on you. <laughs> we have the majestic moment of like your finger like going down and then the crab just like fucking like another one comes around the corner and its claw goes please crit please crit please crit it was not oh oh, oh, it did crit crit. but the other but the crit miss and the other crab like uses its pincers to deflect it defending you comrades rise up against your oppressors (laughs) Cast down the crabs now, that lead you to death. And then the other crab is like, "Fuck this! I'm gonna get out of here!" And then like stops right in, like on Baldric Square. Um, okay, that's it. What go. are you dumbasses doing? We're literally witnessing the crabs in a bucket phenomena in real time. I, I am so baffled by this. I have no idea what to do here. Okay, so we've got. <laughs> Two docile crabs. Yeah, two docile. We've- Here, I'll let me see if I can like tint them to make to show their <laughs> their their disposition as being docile crabs. That they've been befriended. Yes. Friend spotted. Friend up there. <laughs> Double I- friend. <laughs> friend tacular. Can oh. you? There's a lot of things you can do in this situation. There are yes. a lot of things I can do in this situation. I want to I wanna look down at this final enemy crab, uh, seeing that the tides are turning against it and we are recruiting them to our cause, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to approach. I'm going to kind of squat down and be like, All right, buddy. Well, I mean, we could go the way of him, and I point to the one on Orin, or you could go eat bugs with Rahua. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. If you get a crit success, I'll even give this to you. Normally, that would be nature, but I, you know what? I'm a fucking gracious yeah. GM, so I'll let no, you do this. GM doesn't let us do anything. Chance. 
Yeah. And it's super it's super super <laughs> we are retiring this joke now. No. <laughs> no. Look, I can't rip Hulky's pants anymore, so this is the closest thing I can. Okay. You're goddamn <laughs> right, Thurston. No, he doesn't have pants. He fucking played me. Um, <laughs> That's a 19 to convince this crab to lay the down the crab shakes its crab head at you. Oh. <sighs> You you have no nature, so you people are in, insufferably crap. All right, well we gave you a chance to join the glorious Sh- revolution. Stab it! Do unto it as gonna... all reactionaries deserve. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> it is an anti-revolutionary crab. Bulberg is just gonna kick. He's, he's just not gonna let you guys back at his home. He's just not gonna let. This it is gonna start getting worrying when Tannhauser gets the fucking fertilizer. And I, he's like, All right. he's even, gonna he's gonna change his door lock. <laughs> I don't even want to bother with Good panache idea. on this. I'm just gonna attack it. Good. You don't want to panache the crab. I don't want to panache the crab. Just tumble <laughs> through crab. Tumble through the crab. Right, that's six damage on the final enemy crab. Oh, okay. Um, well, that will, uh... Oh, that poor crab. Uh, okay, well, the crab... The crab dies, because it has six hit points. So, congratulations, you fucking murderer. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, check the murderer. body for its wallet with its I've family. Had a- Tannhauser. <laughs> Thurston, I have had enough with you trying to make us feel bad for attacking for, for things murdering that attack us. I know, I know, I know. You murder. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll show you rage. So I know you will. Are all enemy crabs uh, dealt with? Uh, well, there was one hostile crab that attempted to attack you, but was wrestled by the allied crab. Now it is under Baldrick. It appeared to be retreating. Don't let it go back to its cove to spread its repressive philosophies. I'm going to make a running... Um, kick at this crab and just try to kick it off the edge. Okay. No, yeah, give me food. an athletics yeah, test. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. No, that's okay. food. Stab it. <laughs> oh my god, this, this poor so fucking dumbish. crab. No, it's not. You and I are going to acrobatics. Sure. <laughs> Can you please sure. Dark Souls combat roll at it in the yeah <laughs> the <kick? laughs> Like ah, I Fucking tried to roll over it, but too. instead, uh, yeah, like you roll into it and cause it to skid forward, falling off the edge. Do a shoulder yeah, tackle. I, I I kick it like it's a soccer ball. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. I need to do a thing. Oh my god, hold up. That uh, and the. Uh, Duh, duh. <laughs> Please, I need to see if this oh, image no. Is, is. No, no it's not here. Fuck. Uh, I'm with my. God damn it! I will fucking find with it. My next action, okay. I'm going to make a rousing speech to our new revolutionary comrades. <laughs> Welcome to the revolution, uh-huh. crabs. Tired of oppression. Wishing for the halcyon days where hierarchy may not stop you from eating buds, I welcome you to our fold. Welcome. I think the one crab goes up to you and like is like, yeah, 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 and then another crab, like like the one on on top of Rahua's head, just kind of nestles in a bit. Uh, can all of you give me perception checks? Wait, I wish wait, I could tell. wait, my thing, my thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, do so. Thing. As as you as you push the crab over, can this just show up? <laughs> on the front of everyone's just fucking vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yes. oh my God, yes. For context for the people on the podcast who listen to this thing, I basically put the invader banished image on screen. Fucking <laughs> dark thing. Oh my god. Uh, all right, all right. So, so like as as the crab uh, looks up at you, Tannhauser, you're you're like in revolutionary mode. Um, Baldric, you're, I don't know, like you're just in, he, he's annoyed. He's, and he's annoyed tired. by fucking everything. Um, can I get Rahua and uh, Oren to also give me perception checks? Yeah, sure thing. Thank you. I can try. Six. No, Rahua, you know, it's difficult 12. for you and Oren. Oh shit. Okay, Oren. Ooh. Um, so Oren and Volley, both of you, like, take a moment to suck, and that's when you smell, like, like, you smell smoke and fire. Oh, shit. And, it, and like, as you say, oh, shit, you hear the distinct, like, cracking of a timber. 
Arn's immediately like outside. <laughs> We um, need to go. Like to hear. And as you move, Oren, um, you are struck. It's like, does a seventeen hit your AC, Oren? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you'll take 15 points of damage from That'll like do eight. It, Chief. Yeah, from oh. a, from a piece of wood that like just smacks the back of your head. Um <laughs> as you're like rushing out, which I believe yeah puts you into uh not 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 ghosted. Um yeah, but I'm, you I'm are down. you are you are falling into into the dying position as this hits you. Um and you go like face first. And like as that happens, um there is a moment where you you all start to see like the smoke is now coming out from underneath the building. Huh. Um oh. So in in this instance, a uh, Baldric, you 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 sort of actually Volley, you you were the other one who perceived what would you like to do as you have seen Oren sort of run what are you going to do? And like Tanhauser is proselytizing to crabs and who is enjoying the crab on his head and Baldric's like mad at reality. <laughs> in general, yeah. Um, I'm going to run out. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not the door. That's the door. Um, and you say that the smoke is coming from below? Yes, like you're starting to see it like, billow up from um, the, the, like, under the timbers that, like, you have on this structure. Like, from the outside. So whatever the support beams might be on fire. Shit. All right, I'm going to look at the wall. You said it's 20 feet up? Um, yeah, yeah, the, 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 like, stone here. Yeah. All right. Um, has anybody got a rope? I, I uh, actually might. Uh, I have generic adventurer's kit, which I think does have a rope in it, so. I'll, I'll, uh, would you allow me to just say that I have a rope, Thurston? Okay. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. one here. I'm going to grab the rope from Tannhauser. Somebody get Orin back on his feet, and I'm going to jump uh, and try to scale this wall to get onto a place that is not currently burning. Sure. One sec. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> uh, so you begin to climb up, and as you do, like, you, you take the rope, you throw it up, and as you're 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 setting up the, the like the crackling timbers are there. You've grabbed this from from Tannhauser, who is now just like kind of like woken up from his reverie of crab emancipation, uh, and Rahua and Baldric, who are now seeing what you're doing. You go, you, you you like set up the rope, you climb up, and then a gust of wind smashes into your chest. It sends you flying backwards onto this um, onto this bridge where you land with a crack into the wood can you give me a reflex save I would love to give you a reflex save holy shit <laughs> natural 20 you manage to get like you manage to, to clutch onto the side but the rope goes like flying down um, as, as you are like holding on for dear um, I will quickly roll kind of out of initiative order here. I'm just doing some, some cinematic stuff. Uh, Baldric, um, what would you like to do as you see this all happen? Where the fire is coming from below, yes? Yeah. Baldric, can Baldric go up to the edge and see where the smoke is coming from? Yeah, you, you'd like to, to like look down and see? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Give me a perception. Where the he- like, you can um, basically move. go like over here and then Oops. look down. I'm trying to move. It's it's a little laggy. Okay, I got you. All right, I'll give us a quick perception. Yeah. Uh, twelve. Okay, so you look down and see the entire thing is a blaze. Like some kind of fire has started just on the bottom. But as you do, you can also see that the timbers on this building have also been set on fire. We don't have a whole lot of time. Get across. Uh, damn it. And can I... Hey, Thurston, yeah. I happen to notice I have two hero points. Yes. Uh, Baldric, being a savant with alchemical reagents, mm-hmm. can I use my last 
potion thing. Yeah. Mime Last imbued alchemical ingredients to make something that is not, uh, not for dedicated use. I'd like to use a smokestick to try and extinguish the fire. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I'll try to choke it out. Yeah, I'll allow you to, like, like spend the rest of your actions making that and then uh, tossing. So you'll have to give me an attack roll to, like, hit a hit a strategic point. But, yeah, I'll let you. Absolutely. Okay, crafting a smokestick. Because okay. I, uh, I don't think anything else is going to fix that quite so good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, I said craft. There we go. Yep. And then just give me, like, a bomb, bomb attack roll. And we'll see if it... Uh... Kinda don't have a bomb. Um, just it doesn't like, count. It doesn't count smokestick as a grenade for some reason. That's that's fair. You can just uh, roll me like I don't know any kind of like if you give your equip yourself a peshpine grenade and just roll that. Doing it. Yeah. Okay. I'm not targeting anything. I don't nope. think. Just roll it and we'll, we'll see what happens. As you you quickly Drink. prep up a smoke bomb and toss it. Um, with a fifteen, you're gonna you're gonna lodge it in there. It's it's. I attack Jeremy apparently. Yeah, you attack Jeremy. Fucking Jeremy. Um, no. And, no, Jeremy. Uh, and you can tell it's having some counter counter, effect, but um, the, the the flames are still picking up quite a bit. Uh, we'll come to Tanhauser. Yeah, I, I uh, any plans Tanhauser might have had to actually escape kind of fell out the window, seeing his comrades uh, in such peril. So he's just going to rush out and uh, okay, run out and get to the edge where Vali is hanging on for dear life, and just reach mm -hmm. out for her. Uh, and just try to grab her and bring her back up. Yeah, I'll let you get there and basically, like, pull yourselves up as you're... Ugh, thank you kindly. We need to get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Rahua, with your, your crab on your head, what are you going to do, my friend? Flee, but also help, friend. Oh. Okay, so you're going to move and then heal? Correct. Okay. <laughs> Oh no! What's up? <laughs> I don't have heal on my character. <laughs> I'm gonna have to treat wounds. Oh, I can. Oh, oh yeah, you didn't take it this time. Did you? Or wait, you didn't take your spells. You, you bad boy. Should you have had heal today? I suspect. I think so. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, you'll stabilize him. Is what you're planning? Or no? You. Oh, I, was gonna, oh. I was gonna roll nature on him for medicine. Oh well, yeah, true. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that was in that twenty. So. So yeah, I'll I'll say you like come up and like your your, your treatments go over and begin healing wounds and manage to restore. Um, in this case, you normally can't do this, but I'll allow it because it's cool. Uh, I'll allow you with a crit success to do it in combat, but only like restore two d eight. Um, but which is like enough for you to get Oren conscious, which is good. <laughs> um, and like Oren, you look up to see Rahua over you, um, with the, the with the like the crab also staring down from beneath the fancy hat. And as that happens, that's when all of you hear it. The snap. The systemic uh. snap of the building. As the fire has done its work, and the smokestick is lodged in there, has prevented the building from going up, but the support itself has failed. And in an instant, the building turns sideways. And all of you fall. 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 And we'll find fall. out if we have a whole new party next week or not. All right, thanks for the oh, one shot. You bastard! Thanks for the one shot. Bye. Thanks for coming. <laughs> TPK in the first session chat. That was some GM Fiat bullshit right there. Mm. Mm, look at it go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the never lets us do anything, but he does let us fall, fall, fall. <laughs> True. That's right. Look, it's the way to do it. It's the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Twice yeah, the house thank falls, you. everybody dies. Exactly. Yeah. True. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank Chat, you. Chat, Good uh, job. Chat vindicates me by remembering that I believed something would go wrong, yeah. and it did. You, you absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You are the logical anchor. Shit, he's I, the logical anchor again. No. I hate my job. Oh, I love your job. You do a great job. Really? Ah! So. As do all of you. You guys did amazing. <laughs> Also, yeah, so, I'll, I'll also say the crabs yay! survived. So, yeah. Yay, Jeremy! I don't, yay. I don't yes, want another Jeremy. child. Well, you don't know. <laughs> Look, we've replaced the child with Jeremy the head crab, okay? Ah. Oh. Okay. So thank you, Thurston, so much 
for kicking ass today. Thank you very much for game mastering an amazing session. And I want to kind of go around the horn so everybody can reintroduce themselves and where you can find them. I'm going to start off with Aaron Dill. Where can, who are you and where can everyone find you? Me. You dare find me? Yes. I am Erndil, and you can meet me at Twitter at at Erndilio, and that's basically the only spot, uh, because I don't use social media all that much. I work with Alpha Busa on a number of things, I said this at the beginning, but yes. Awesome, and next up, Hulky. Yes, that is me, I am Hulky Crow. You can find me at Twitter, at Hulky Crow. You can also find me on the Narrative Declaration Community Discord, and Zorin's uh, Discord for himself, uh... Hang out there every now and then. Uh, there should be a link going out in the next, like, what, 10 minutes? You can, do exclamation, you can do exclamation point in Discord, and you'll do both of them. Oh, cool, here we go. I'll send it out to you now, but I'm going to hop in hey, there yeah. after this, and we take care of some stuff after, and I get some food that I couldn't order in the, the time that I wasted, mm -hmm. and everyone thought I was in the bathroom Baby, earlier. <laughs> um, but yeah, stop on by. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for coming out today. <laughs> next up, we have Odo. Hello, I'm Oda Roche Ryder. I was playing the uh, blue bitch known as Vali. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Oda Roche Ryder. Um, and yeah, excellent session, everybody. I am really, really excited to see you guys for next session. Yeah, next up, Speaker D. Hi, I'm Speaker D, and I had a lot of fun as well. I love everyone's characters. And if you want to find me and see me scream at the void, you may find me at Super Snake Kick on Twitter. Um, in addition, I occasionally have begun on and off writing some of Alpha's Patreon updates. So if you want to check out his thing and beyond that, please support Hunter the Parenting and all of our other interesting new series going up on Alpha Abuse's YouTube channel. And Thurston? Hi, I'm Thurston, On Call GM. You can find me on all things at On Call GM. I've been uh, Twitch streaming Dark Souls games lately, so come hang out with me there. I got to the good part of Dark Souls 2, the DLC, and I might do that tomorrow. If not, Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can find me there. Uh, you can also find me on the Twitter at the same thing, and uh, you can find me on the Narrative Declaration Patreon, where I am currently creative lead for all of the the cool pdfs and products that come out there so if you liked everything you saw in this session uh including the maps and the um the, the cool creatures we're going to be putting all that up on our uh, on our patreon it's going to be badass so if you want to see stats and other cool things along with some of the lore documents we have uh talking about the setting those are all going up there so please support us it lets us support like you know all of our peeps including our players and me and our artists who do a fucking kick-ass job and speaking of our artists like big thanks to uh Skelebean, s elliot illu guitar beard to tell stories dank Wart, and chocolate for all doing amazing art that you saw today it's some of them are members of the community some of them are just talented artists they're all great and we love our artists because they do great shit for us it's me i love all of you thank you yep. your support is amazing and I have been your host, Zoan the Bear. I hope you guys enjoyed your time here. We will see you guys next time. Uh, you will find the VOD coming up. Uh, I have to wait 24 hours because of Twitch stuff and everything else for the VOD to come up. And I also have to have time to edit everything. So please give me a little bit. Uh, but we shall get it up within a week, hopefully. So you'll see it on my channel and on the Narrative Declaration YouTube channel. Always head over to narrativedeclaration.com, by the way. To see the countdown for the next episode, along with who we are, all this other stuff, etc., etc. So yeah, if you liked what you saw here, feel free to follow the channel. Feel free to subscribe if you want to support me in the show, and also support all the amazing uh, talent here and creators and everything to kind of make this possible. It's a whole custom setting that we are making, so you can also adventure in it with us. So with that, we're now going to finally say goodbye. Goodbye. Get down. So Bye, long. everyone. Farewell. So everyone. Goodbye. Bye. 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 It has been Be one week. One. Captain's log. Goodbye. We are going Goodbye. to crash. Dark City. Goodbye. T. L. Gray. Tepid. We will see you all next time. The house falls, everybody Stay tuned dies. to the Twitter to figure out when we're doing stuff and everything in the Discord. Kill the stream. Goodbye. I love all of you. Farewell. Farewell.